Is it because Tosaka went home and my tension disappeared? Uh, that's a good question. So, uh, hey everybody, Renegade of the 67 and or 8 here, Variety, um, uh, Zero to Hero, that's funny because Vade's Zero, but also Shiro is a hero, but so Shiro is secretly, so I thought Shiro was secretly Archer, Shiro is actually secretly Berserker, he's secretly Hercules to infinity and beyond, wrong, wrong, wrong hero, anyways, um, it's still Disney, sort of, sort of, um, uh, anyways, hi everybody, uh, so last time we talked to Tosaka, but more importantly, status, which apparently got up updated, what got updated, did anything get updated, hold on, did anything get updated, what got updated, I don't think anything got updated, did anything actually get updated, um, I'm just gonna take a quick glance, doesn't seem like anything actually got updated, but anyways, we didn't read through Hercules' thingamajigger yesterday. Let's read through Hercules' thingamajigger. Not yesterday, sorry. You know, it feels like yesterday. Gosh, these last couple days have been a blur for me. Um, it was three days ago, but whatever. Um, I guess one of this gets uploaded on YouTube, and maybe the same day, or maybe yesterday. So this might be more accurate on YouTube. I don't know. Um, oh. uh, anyways. Um, this is Hercules. We're gonna read his lore, and then we'll continue with the video game. I mean, the visual novel. I mean, the visual novel is a video game, but it's not a video game, but it's sort of a video game. It's kind of a video game. It's only mostly a video game. It's a video game on Tuesdays only. Um, wait, it's not a Tuesday. Fuck. Um, Hercules. Nope, Her Heracles. Heracles -um. The greatest hero in Greek mythology. Heracles and speaking of One Piece, the dub. Yay! Anyways, the greatest hero in... Uh, <clears throat> The greatest hero in Greek mythology. No, I was doing it for that guy. I wasn't doing that for this. I'm, I'm mixing up. I'm crossing my streams. I wasn't doing a manly narrator voice for this game. Um, I get to do a wimpy narrator voice. I get to do my voice. The greatest hero in Greek mythology. He was a half-god, half-human hero born from Zeus, the king of the gods, and a human woman. Scandalous. Although Heracles had superior talent in all things, there was a big pro there were big problems with his personality. He was a little penis. As a child, he beat his harp teacher to death over a small matter. Oh, this sounds like a darker version of uh, Hercules than I'm used to from the Disneys. Um, and after that, he had to live as a shepherd to calm his temper. Okay, did he kill any of his sheep? Thus, he became a splendid man. And, you know, we all just forgot about that little noodle incident where he killed his teacher that one time. He became a splendid man, and after he had accomplished several great deeds, the king of Thebes gave him his daughter, Megara. Oh, I know that from the Disneys. And he earned two children and the right to succeed the king. He earned two children? Or he, like, you know, he banged Megara really hard twice. Because, I mean, earned sounds like adopted. Um... Next page. This is awkward without music. I kind of want to go forward till we get music, but whatever, we're already doing it. Heracles was young and strong, and already no human was matched for him. The future seemed bright for him as he married the king's daughter and had two children. Um, he beat his teacher to death. Yep, 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 yep. Um, uh, Hercules, you know, for kids. No, Hercules for kids. Heracles is for grown man. Yeah, we're manly man. And womanly women. <clears throat> um... Okay, so he earned two children, and then this says that uh, the future seemed bright for him, married the king's daughter, and had two children. So did he earn two and then have two, or is this the same two? Anyways, but Zeus's wife, Hera, de detested the child burn of Zeus and a human. Well, I mean, no, duh, that's kind of awkward when Zeus has a wife that's, you know, a god as well, and then he bangs a non-god one time, and, you know, that's extremely, ugh. Um... A lot of sense why he's a berserker. Eh. But Zeus's wife, Hera, detested the child born of Zeus and a human. And meddled with his fate. Meddled with his fate! Oh, hashtag title drop at every opportunity. Okay, my window is still off kilter. If you weren't here for pre-stream, you, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you wouldn't have been. You won't know that my window... I didn't actually properly explain this. My, um, my video game window is off kilter. It was settled for a long time, but it got off kilter. So I gotta fix this real quick. Hold on. Um, it got off kilter today for some reason. Hold the phone, fixing chat, because chat is off kilter now that I've fixed my window. 
Okay, I think it's. Oh, I think we're on kilter again. Let me just check OBS. Nothing fancy happened. The video screen didn't move for you, but I had to move the video screen for me because it was off kilter. Anyways, uh, what was I reading? Right, Zeus's wife Hera detested the child born of Zeus and a human. Right, because because they because dirty incest, not incest. Sorry, what's the other thing? Um, uh, the thing where you cheat. Cheating. That's the word. There's probably another word more technical. But anyways, um, page three. First. Hera sent madness to Heracles and drove him insane. Oh, hey, hey, that's funny because he's insane now. Cute. Uh, making him kill Megara and his two children. Uh, oh, that's awkward. That's awkward. Adultery. That sounds more, that sounds more like a correct term, wise fool. Um, yeah, so he casually kills Megara and he casually kills his wife and his two children. You know, those days just happen sometimes. I mean, what? Sounds like uh, God of War a little bit. Hashtag, I've never played God of War, but I feel like I heard that at some point. I might even be wrong. That may be incorrect. That may be fake news. Ugh. Heracles, troubled by the sins he had committed, received a sign that he should atone for his sins by becoming the slave of... <laughs> Why are these names so confusing? The sins he had committed received a sign that he should atone for his sins by becoming the slave of... Erstheus. Er... er <laughs> Why can't it just be Japanese? That's what I'm studying. Um, the man who took away his promised position as king. <clears throat> Erythius was jealous of the strong hero Heracles and gave him many difficult tasks and claimed that he would keep him a slave until he completed these tasks. I think I get it. There were many difficult labors that were impossible to complete with normal human skills. They were the famous 12 labors of Heracles. If they're so famous, why haven't I heard of them? <laughs> um, because I haven't bothered looking it up, I suppose. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so he was a cool dude, and then he killed his people, and then it's like, you're a slave now. I'm jealous of my slave. You're gonna do these things. But then he did them, so he's famous. <sighs> the new, the number of labors chosen by the gods were t was ten. What? I thought it was twelve. Now you're f fucking with me. You're fucking with my math skills. Ten's not twelve. Oh, wait, you explained that. Okay. But since Eris, however, since Aaron Yeager did not accept the fulfillment of two of those, he added two more labors. I understand. Oh, gosh, I gotta watch more Attack on Titan. I watched season one, and then I never got around to the rest. What are they, on season four or something now? Um, I just, I never, I don't know why. I just never bothered continuing. I really liked it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh... But Heracles safely completed even those tasks, and not only was, uh, was he freed from slavery, but he also received an immortal body as proof of his great accomplishments. Um, out, AOT is good. I will say I think AOT Season 1 is a little overrated. Um, I don't want to get too much into this, but at the time, everybody was treating it like it was the hottest shit. And so because of that, when I got into it, I'm one of those people that when I watch something because of peer pressure, and this is one of those cases where I wasn't planning on watching it, but then everybody was like, you should watch it. And then I ended up watching it. Um, when I watch something because of peer pressure, I'm super critical of it and generally <laughs> tend to dislike it on principle. But it was good enough that I ended up liking it anyway. But I essentially went out of my way looking for faults and I found a few, but... Um, Mm. I think it starts really slow, for example. I think the show starts really slow. But anyways, I don't want to get into that. <clears throat> um, uh, anyways, where were we? Uh, but Her Heracles safely completed even those tasks, and not only was he freed from slavery, but he also received an immortal body as proof of his great accomplishments. Oh, so he didn't have an immortal body before, but now he does. Wait, does he still have an immortal body even when he gets brought back from the, the, the grave in the Grail War? Because that's a little cheatery cheater. <laughs> Uh, maybe that means we have to kill Ilya. Ooh, dark. Uh, the greatest hero in Greece. This was the beginning of the great hero Heracles, who single-handedly achieved great deeds, equaling those of the Trojan War and the Argo Expedition. I'm going to assume those are pretty great, but the rest of Heracles' life was again full of madness. Sounds pretty fitting for the Berserker, to be honest. Uh, I didn't know he was this Berserk in his lore. Um, okay, so he actually, he succeeded doing the things, great, and then he got to be immortal, nice, sounds like a nice perk, I mean, yeah, his wife and kids were still dead, but, you know, rip, there's always the newest god of war, where he gets man, son, son of war, dad of boy, or whatever the nickname is, haven't played that one either, I've heard good things, just, you know, I'm more of a Nintendo kid than a PlayStation kid, <clears throat> uh, page five, 
Hera's hatred was endless, and Heracles, who should have been immortal, was killed by poison of one of his by one of his wives. Wait, one of his wives? You mean after Heracles, after Megara, Heracles got a bunch of new wives? So he's a player. After losing the first, he decided might as well get a multiple ones just to be safe in case more of them get killed by me. That's a little dark, but also you know the great hero, equally matched with the sun god, even as a human, was in the end slowly killed by the persistent jealousy of a goddess. That kind of sucks. So he was killed. Even though he was immortal. So he's normally immortal. Okay, this might be important. So he's immortal through most things, but poison can kill him. So we have to poison him? Is that we can kill him without killing Ilya? So we can save Ilya with our penis? At the point of his death, Heracles burned his body, still contain, contained with poison, and trusted himself to Zeus's judgment. It is said that the gods, in a conference, approved of Heracles' great deeds. Um... Okay, in a conference, approved of Heracles' great deeds and prepared a seat in Olympus after his death and worshipped him as a god. Oh, so he wasn't a god while he was alive? You can't be a... I thought that he was just a god while he was alive. I thought if gods have kids, they're just gods. I didn't think you have to die to become a god. That seems weird. Uh, Heracles went insane many times in the myth, but he really was an excellent warrior who could handle any weapon. And now he gets to handle like a stone weapon. He has the attributes to become any of the seven classes except Castor. Oh, well, now it explains this. And the greatest noble phantasm in his possession is a bow and arrow he obtained in the Twelve Labors called Shooting Hundred Beasts Nine Lives. Shame he doesn't get to use that. He's not an archer. I hope Archer feels jealous. Instead, he's just a freaking, um, he's a berserker. So he doesn't get to use his, his mad archery skills. Okay, I was completely un unreading all of the chat. What, are the, what is this all saying? Uh, some people with Cowboy Bebop. Oh my gosh, can I talk about Cowboy Bebop for a second? And, uh... I don't like it. Like, like it's good, right? It's supposed to be good? I guess it's just not my taste. I've only watched, like, the first five episodes or something. It's fucking boring. I don't like it. I've watched, like, the first five episodes. I never liked it. I, like, I tried to like it. It wasn't, like, with Attack on Titan where I went in expecting to dislike it. I went in trying to like it. I just couldn't. I just don't like it. Does it, maybe, maybe it gets better later or maybe it's just, if I haven't liked it by five episodes, I just shouldn't bother. Maybe it's just not for me. Um, anyways, uh, not knowing common Greek myths. Greek lore is always messed up. Nah, uh, Herc was OG demigod, but he was just so freaking awesome. He became a god after death. So he started as a demigod, and then after death became a regular god. Okay, I understand. He leveled up his godhood. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> shooting hundred beasts. So, I wonder if we'll ever get to see shooting hundred beasts in action. Opinions will be opinions. Um, anyways, what are we doing? Uh, right, we did it. And now that I've insulted Cowboy Bebop and gotten half of my viewers to leave, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just, it's fine. It's great. I'm sure it's great. Everyone's going to have opinions. You know, um, you know, you know, a lot of people like Cowboy Bebop. Maybe I don't. I like Sword Art Online. A lot of people don't. It's all good. Um, we're done with stats for now. Yay! So, I have learned some Heracles lore. Fine. Back to the visual novel. Is it because Tosaka went home, my tension disappeared? I don't know. My body feels dull, so I lay down in the living room. Okay. As long as you don't lay down in the dying room, because that would be an internal lay down. <laughs> Duh. Dash. You know what? We're in like a new scene. Let's go ahead and turn on voices. It's also been a while. I didn't have voices on at all on Monday. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw all the voices on. And by all, I mean both of them. Stats are now left for dead. <laughs> I stave off the returning nausea by lying on my side. The clock ticks in the silent living room. Oh, it would have been funny to read all that with a clock ticking. Uh, no, probably been too eerie. A fight between masters, huh? I still don't understand what it is. I am, I am, I am five, and what is master? Master this car? Master non this car? The only thing I'm sure of is that it's beyond me. Love those two games. Oh, Left for Dead. Uh, I'm not much of an... I was a Nintendo kid and a little bit of a PlayStation kid, but I definitely was not an Xbox kid, so... 
Never, uh, never, never played the uh, Left 4 Deads, but I'm sure they're great. And I can say that because I haven't played them, so I don't have proof that they're not. What? The only thing I'm sure of is that it's beyond me. It would feel more real if I had more interest in the Holy Grail. You can wish for anything. Has that not crossed your head? Like, come on, man. Like, at least wish for a waifu. At least Rin probably will wish for a husbando to beat um, uh, Ayako. Then again, she might not need one because I think she's found her husbando in Shiro. Why, I wonder. All I feel towards the Holy Grail is disgust. Um, maybe because you, you, you've you already been told it's partially responsible for the fire that burned your home down or whatever, so maybe it just, you know, you're like, no bueno, man. A grail said to make wishes come true. I don't know what kind of a thing it is, but it's an artifact that you can even summon these things called savants. Sa saventos. Sa saventos? No, you would never say saventos. They don't pluralize. They would do savento tachi if they were going to do that, or they just say savento. Um, they don't pluralize words by adding an S at the end. Japanese, I mean. If they are going to pluralize, they add tachi, but they generally just don't bother pluralizing. It might not go as far as granting any wish, but it should have more than enough value for any Magus. Was originally a Sega kid. Oh yeah, I got into Sega through, well, GameCube. I generally got through m most of my introduction to Sega. GameCube was really my big system growing up. I got a little bit of love with the N64, but my I got I have a huge GameCube collection. Uh, I played Nintendo, became a PlayStation 1 and 2. Never owned a PlayStation 1. I do have a PlayStation 2. I have a couple PlayStation 1 games, though. Specifically, I have Crash 3 for PlayStation 1 and no PlayStation 1 memory card. But because backwards compatibility was a thing back in the day, I could play it on my PlayStation 2. But without a PlayStation 1 memory card, I had to get through it all in one sitting. And there was one time where I did that. I got through Crash 3 all at once in one sitting, sort of. I had to leave it on overnight because I was like in the final world and I hadn't beaten the game yet. But I got through it all at once over the course of like a weekend. And I've never played the game again since, but like, I feel proud of myself. I did do that once. Anyways, um, uh, PlayStation 1 and 2 guy went to 360. I owned PS3. I never got the PS3. Uh, I only had the Wii from that generation. My brother had the 360 and I played a little bit of games on that. I borrowed it occasionally. Um, never got the PS3 though. PS4 only now. I have the PS4 and the Switch. And the Wii U, if you want to count that. PS4 and Wii U are arguably the same generation. Um, want a PS5 and Switch eventually? PS5, pff, that doesn't exist until at late 2020, from what I understand. I likely won't get it till at least 2021. Like, I, I can't, I, I, I need to shave my money, I think. Anyways, um, it might not go as far. I'm always behind the times in getting systems. I always get a system like... It, at, uh, except for Nintendo, sometimes I get those early. Um, I got the Wii U kind of close to launch. Eh. But um, generally, I wait at least a year for a system to be up before I get it. Might not go as far as granting any wish, but it should have more than enough value for any Magus. Still, I'm not interested in it. I just don't got no interest. It's true that I'm dubious about its reality, but accepting that easy way to reach a goal feels like cheesing myself, cheating myself. Yeah. <laughs> Accepting that easy way to reach a goal feels like cheating. You cheated not only the game, but yourself, bro. You cheated yourself. You cheated life itself. If you want to reach a goal, you got to actually reach it. If you just do it with a silly grail, you're cheating. But it's not really cheating. You're still going to be earning it because you're going to be doing the grail war. And that's not easy. That's one way to look at it. So it's not just, you know. To, but, but honestly, that's an interesting character um, analysis. Personally, I'm a total cheeser. If someone offered me a cheese strategy, I would totally take the cheese strategy. I would cheese as hard as possible. I just want the easy cheese life as much as possible. Um, but it's good to be want to be a hard worker. I'm just not one of those people. But I can respect those people. How do Wii U was a mistake. Um... Uh, I don't think the Wii U, I think, I think it's, I like it. I like the Wii U. I've used the Wii U a lot, to be honest. Um, I got the, uh, I got into, I finally got around to playing, um, Twilight Princess with the Wii U remake. I got my, my only amiibo so far is the Wolf Link amiibo that came with that. So that's dope. Um, uh, Wonderful 101, Pikmin 3, which is still not important to Switch. And I freaking love Pikmin, so I still don't consider it a regret. Also, there's Virtual Console. I got freaking Fire Emblem 8 on... I got into Fire Emblem 8 with the Wii U's Virtual Console. 
Uh, so there's a lot of things I like about the Wii U that, um, oh, I also got Metroid Prime Zero Mission with the Wii U's virtual console. Hashtag GBA game virtual console. Hashtag Nintendo Switch. What's a virtual console? Um, so yeah, I like, I, I like the Wii U. Um, I get the whole, it doesn't have enough games, but like, honestly, uh, the number of games I want on the Switch is about equal to the number of games I want on the Wii U at this point. I, I, speaking as if I hadn't already gotten them, but... Um, of course, there's more games I have on the Wii U at the moment, but that's because, you know, I, I've been, you know, collecting for longer. Um, and I'm sure the Switch's library of games that I'm interested in will grow, but anyways. Um, she was a guy who wants to earn a waifu, not wish one. That, you know what? Fair point. Ugh, that tablet controller? Honestly, I don't, you know what? I like the, I don't mind the Wii U's c c tablet controller, really. I don't use it often. Usually I only use it if I'm just using it, because if I'm if I'm playing off my TV, I would generally um, use like the Pro controller or whatever. But like if I have to use the tablet, I don't really mind it. To be honest, the Switch controller is what bugged me at first. The Switch's tablet controller bugged me more. I preferred the bigger version that the Wii U had. I know it's all preference, but I preferred the Wii U version to the Switch version. It's now a console stream. We're just talking about consoles. You know what, man? I haven't had a casual stream in a while, so this is my excuse to be slightly casual. Uh, accepting that easy way to reach a goal feels like che cheesing myself. Actually, I updated my chat rules to say we have to stay on topic during, uh, you know, story plot heavy games, non-casual playthroughs. We gotta stay on topic, focus on the game. Um, we can only go off topic in casual playthroughs, but you know what? A fork it, today I'm in a casual mood. <clears throat> Uh, the worst aspect of this thing is that the selection method is a battle. Oh, yeah, because you, you don't want a battle, but you do want to find out the truth behind the fire, right? This is a fight for a single chair. Musical chairs! There can only be one. Imagine there was holy, a Holy Grail War. It was a fight to the death, but instead it's musical chairs. And if you don't succeed the musical chairs, you die. Hashtag hardcore mu musical chairs. Let's go. I want to see that shit. I love shit like I, I love stuff like Animal World. I know I've talked a little bit about this in the past where it's like they take something mundane like rock, paper, scissors, and they're like, now fight to the death using rock, paper, scissors. I mean, it's not quite fight to the death, but anyways, I love stuff like that. Like musical chairs, but it's a fight for the death. I, I love shit like that. That, 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 that's, that, that fuels me. That gives me life. Um... Anyways, this is a fight for a single chair. No matter what your expectations are, as long as you enter it, you can't survive unless you defeat your enemies. Depending on your methods, defeating other masters might result in harm to innocent people. That's why... <laughs> Rejoice, Emiyashiro! Yorokobe! Yorokobe! Well, I guess I learned a new Japanese words. Thank you, wise fool, and the other people that spammed that. <laughs> It got that into my head. Yoroko Bay is Rejoice. Great. There's a good spin-off, Fate Zeros, that has an episode about that. Oh, for the musical chairs? Are you shitting me? What? Is that real? <clears throat> rejoice, Emi Ishiro. My reason for fighting is not to win the Holy Grail War. Your wish will finally come true. Your wish isn't to, to, to have the Holy Grail War. Your wish is to fight a villain. You want a villain to fight. But waifus can't be villains. I need a male villain. I mean, yeah, Ilya, she's kind of a villain. But she's a waifu. You can't have waifu villains, especially not if they're attractive. She needs to be unattractive or can't... <laughs> uh, not musical chairs. Just simple games for the Grail. Oh, okay. I see. So not musical chairs specifically? That'd be dope. <clears throat> it is to stop those that would try to win it by any means possible. Dash, 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 dash. I feel dizzy again. It's only natural. Even if it appears to be back to normal, my body was almost split in half a few hours ago. Kinky. There's no way this sickness will go away quickly. It seems more likely it will continue for the rest of my life. Nice! Because I was almost killed three times in a day. And you know what they say, third time's the lucky charm. Actually, that's kind of the fourth time, isn't it? You know, four-leaf clover or whatever. If someone weak joins a battle, it's natural for him to get hurt. And you know, yeah, I'm to use the pronoun him. As compensation for my lack of strength, I almost lost my body. 
<gasps> There's the boner scene. Inu Hanyu boner. <clears throat> or maybe I should call you Inu Tai Hanyu. Gosh. Changing up your name on me like that. Oh, oh oops. Mistake. <clears throat> Misclick. And she was wounded protecting me. Oh shit, we got a battle in chat. We got a grail war going on in chat about if something counts as like a, a minor spoiler. Gosh. The spoiler wars. Uh, uh, I will say, like, you know, uh, I, I can't really, I don't, it's complicated, man. It's complicated. You know, like, it's complicated. I'm kind of fine with it, but like, it's complicated. I feel like you were vague enough, but I don't want to get into that because then people are going to be like, oh, so if I'm that vague, it's, it's a case by case basis. You really got to learn. You got to learn. It's, I don't know. <clears throat> I get up. Ah. So the heights. Jeez, that freeze for a second. Fate stay freeze. Any drop frames? No. Nothing I say will affect this current VN and its content. Mm. <laughs> that sounds pretty, uh, that sounds pretty bold of you, wise fool. Y yes, your moderator powers go into your head? <laughs> no, I do appreciate the help, um, and I feel like you do have a good grasp of what bothers me and what doesn't. Um, oh yeah, her! What am I doing? Yeah, you gotta check on Saber this whole time you haven't bothered checking on Saber. I totally forgot about her because Tosaka was here. Is she resting? What's the dealio, man? Is she alive? No, I unconsciously avoided thinking about her. Coward! I've been avoiding recalling the girl who was wounded because of me. The one that was bleeding miserably because of me. Tosaka didn't say the most important thing! Which most important thing? I pull my resting body together and stand up! Tosaka didn't say anything about Saber. Yeah, okay, what about Saber? Yeah, it would have been more interesting. You know, it probably would not more interesting, but it would have made, made more sense if we went to talk to Saber and got her in on the treaty, you know? She said she and Saber brought me here, but she said nothing more. Saber! Uh, if we're actually using, um, uh, if we're using proper Romanji, that would be spelt, uh, S E E E E E E I I I I I, and then B A A A A A A. Um, there wouldn't be any H's, and yeah, because if you want to say Se, that's S E. If you're doing Sa, that's S A. Um, so it would be Sa Ba, but instead it's Se Ba. You know, just talking Romanji if you care. Romaji, sorry. It's I, I don't know why, but for so long I thought it was Romanji, but then when I actually started learning Japanese, it's like, it's Romaji. They even had a little joke picture when I, at the site I was learning it at. It said, it's Romaji, not Romanji. And I'm like, oh, that's a common misconception? It's not just me? Where did that come from? Where did that mis misconception come from, I wonder? Anyways, the fact that I need to know most, if she, the one wounded by Berserker, is alright or not. Yeah, that's what I was wondering from the start. I mean, if I still have my command seal, she should be fine. Ooh, this is a new picture. Ugh! I look through the house, bearing the dizziness. I look around where someone could be, all the guest rooms, but I cannot find Seba. It's weird, she's in that outfit, so you'd think it'd be easier to find her. Can you even sleep in an outfit like that? Like, cause it's like all metal-y, right? And she's got like a metal dress? Like, it's, does the metal dress, I mean, it's like a weapon, it's like, it's like a, it's armor, right? So, it's, it's like armor dress. Would you even be able to lie down in that? Because I feel like you, like if it, how loosey goosey is the is the is the dress? Does it actually does it is it wavy or is it is it strict? Um, Shira really does have a cool house. Uh, Kiritsugu had a nice taste. There's no sign of the brave ar brave armor clad saber anywhere around the house. Tolsaka and uh, said Savanto can become spirit. <laughs> no, okay. can become spirits, but I can't do that. No, first of all, They say I'm a master, but just how am I a master? I don't understand who she is nor how she exists. Well, they didn't even explain, I don't think Ren even explained to you properly about the summoning circle. 
and how I'm, I'm still thinking Elia set that up for you. And I think Rin would be curious about that, because you shouldn't normally be able to summon a servant by accident. So the fact that Rin hasn't investigated that surprises me. This is like a new soldier being given a tank. Uh, this is your first day on the job, Shiro. Here is your new... I don't know tanks. M40? I think that's a gun name. Here's your new tank. Uh, oh, I know Gundam names. Here's your new, um, you, you get the freedom. But I've never piloted a gun before. Doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're on duty. You're getting the freedom. Uh, well, the lucky thing is, this tank has an autopilot function. Even if the driver is terrible, the tank will fight on its own. <laughs> nice. In fact, it's even, it's not quite even having an autopilot function. It's an autopilot function that only lets you take control three times. And once you take control the third time, it like, it, it kind of explodes. Which is kind of awkward. Dash, dash, dash. Angry at my thoughts, I hit my head against the wall. Stupid Shiro, stupid. Um, I've been uh, I've been reading uh, the Harry Potter books recently. I watched the movies a while ago, but I've recently been getting into reading <gasps> books. Um, and one, and I started with Harry Potter. I started with actually the fourth book and got halfway through and then I'm like, fuck it. I'm, and I went back and I started reading the first. I read through all of the first book and now I'm on the second book. Um, and I'm learning all, for one thing, it's been a while since I watched the movies, but there's also definitely some definite differences between the books and the movies. But anyways, the reason I brought this up is because Dobby hitting his head against the wall. That's what I thought of. Anyways, references. <laughs> But it's backwards because it's supposed to be Dobby is the servant. So you're supposed to be the servant when you hit your head against the wall. You're the master. How dare you reverse the polarium? How rotten of me. Idiot. Stupid. That was such an impolite complaint. I apologize to the blonde haired girl in my head. In your head? Uh, how dare you call her a tank? She's, she's too uh, elegant to be a tank. Now I feel like I have to find her confirm her safety. She's not here either. I searched throughout the house. It's a big house, but I didn't play hide and seek here with Fujine as a kid for nothing. <laughs> I know the effective way to search this place. Nice. It was like it was all training. Right, every book up to six is a teen. Oh, um, yeah, I, my, my opinion on the Harry Potter movies is that I liked. I really like one, two, three. Uh, I kind of liked four. I didn't like five, six, or seven part one. I mean, I was eh. I liked them enough to see the next one, but I was eh. I liked seven part two though. I did like the last one. Um, so that was good. It closed on a note that I enjoyed. Um, but uh, yeah, um, reading is a very different beast to watching movies though. And I know that. And I'm now becoming more appreciative of reading books as I think I, I mentioned this earlier in the LP. But um, for a while I just, words without pictures, no thanks. Um, only more recently I've been coming uh, more more able to appreciate words without pictures. I think my, my, my taste has been maturing. Um, you were a Harry Hermione fan? You shipped the Harry Hermione couple? I didn't really, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't really involved in the shipping wars. I mean, obviously Hermione was like my waifu, but was Hermione my waifu or was, you know, Emma Watson? Mm -hmm. It's okay, I was a kid too, so it was okay for, it wasn't dirty. Because I was a kid when I was watching those movies, so... And by the time that, you know, I was watching the older ones, it's like we grew up together. Uh, I think their actual ages are close to mine. Um, I forget the exact age difference, but... <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I didn't play hide-and-seek here with Fujine as a kid for nothing. I know the effective way to search this place. <clears throat> if I haven't found her after searching this much, then... The yard, the shed, or... She said she would protect me. So I don't think she would leave this place. The shed, right? Because she's resting at the circle. Just like what Archer's doing at Rin's place. Maybe. It suddenly hits me. Not the house, the yard, nor the shed were where we first met. Uh... No, it was the share shed where you first met. What are you talking about? Oh, what, no, nor the shed where we... Okay. Come to think of it, there is another large building in this place. Oh, the dojo? She must be there. I hurry. I head to the dojo. 
Oh shoot, but we haven't died yet. We're not allowed to be in the dojo if we haven't died. I don't want to be going to that dojo unless we get some funny tiger dojo. I head to the dojo, separated from the main building. Dash, 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 dash. I'm a bit tense. If she's not here, I'll have to admit that she's gone. Even though you haven't checked the shed yet, and that's where I still think she is? I guess I'm wrong. That makes me realize. The inconsistency. Even though I know nothing about her, I want her to stay. Duh! It's called that she's like a pretty waifu. And she's been polite to you so far. Is she practicing swordplay? A wooden floored room with nothing unnecessary. A dojo built only to train oneself in. In this silent place, in the faint sunlight... Ah! <gasps> she's not wearing her armor. She's sitting there naturally. Is she still, like, recovering? But if she's recovering, maybe that means she can't really wear her armor well while she's recovering because... Be because she wouldn't be able to fight normally anyways, and it's weighing her down, and she maybe that's why, because the armor's very heavy, and so she's not recovered enough to wear it, and so she wants to the agility provided by not wearing it at the moment? Maybe. She's sitting there naturally. Dash, 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 dash. A space filled with tranquility. The sunlight shining in his white, and it makes her and the dojo into one. The girl who appeared just before I was killed by a lancer, and the girl that mercilessly slashed him with her sword. Her golden hair, I mean, blonde, really, but sure, you can talk her up, call it golden, that was reflecting the blue moonlight, is now one with the warm sunlight. Dash, 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 dash. That really makes me remember which part. This is exactly what I felt when I first saw her. God, she's hot! The girl clad in armor, slashing her sword to silently overwhelm her opponent. I wasn't surprised by how out of world that scene was. It doesn't matter what she's wearing. It probably wouldn't change even if she was covered in mud. She'd still be fucking hot! The girl that moved me deeply is still in front of me. Hubba hubba. Dash dash. That is why I forget even to breathe and continue to stare at her. Forgetting about Masters, the Holy Grail War, and everything. In this instant, I have completely accepted Saber. Oh, you've accepted her, all right. <laughs> but honestly, you've also kind of accepted Sakura, and you've accepted Rin. You haven't denied any of them yet. And I'll accept Ilya if I can help it. <gasps> I do not know how long it was. Saber opens her eyes as if waking from sleep. She was probably resting. She probably is still recovering. Because, you know, not only did she get hurt like crazy, but she also had to, you know, take even on more hurt while I got hurt and saved me from hurt. So she was super amazing hurt. Feels like Shiro has the biggest boner for Saber. Well, you know, I mean, I get it. My preference is for the girls that kill me, but she likes the girls that save him. I understand. Ugh. Also, she, to be fair, I have sort of, you know, because, you know, I've sort of seen Fate Zero and I have this idea in mind that Saber is at the very least several years older than, than him. But also, you know, it's not just that, yes, I know she's a ghost, but I know she's a ghost who's been in human form like 10 years ago w with this same-ish age when, she, when he was much younger. And so it feels weird. Now, to be fair, I actually tend to prefer older women, but usually only by like a year or two, not like... Hundreds, thousands. <clears throat> Saber opens her eyes as if waking from sleep. Oh. My disappointed voice echoes loudly through the dojo. Disappointed? Oh, you wanted her to keep... Oh, wow, that's perverted. <laughs> uh, Saber stands up, perhaps noticing the sound. Ellipses. I walk toward her, still not knowing what to say. You're awake, Shiro. Yes, I am. You're not wearing your armor. Seba? Seba? A calm voice. Her voice, echoing through the dojo as if permeating it, is surprisingly suited to this place. I just realized. It's like opposite. It's reversed. You spell Saber... Hold on. 
I mean, I kind of already knew this, but like, I, uh, anyways, where is it? Uh, 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 saber. Because it's like, you spell it S-A-B-E-R in English, but the, the kana for this would be Seba. It would be, um, the kana, it would, it would be the character S-E followed by the character B-A. So it would be S-E-B-A, and you wouldn't even have the R. Um, R's are silent. Uh, ending R's in English language generally just get, become silenced. They become silenced in Japanese, but interesting. It's the reversed. It's just an interesting thing to note. Um, echoing through the door as if permitting it. It's surprisingly suited to this place. Yeah, I, I just got up. Totally. Ha 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 I'm doing great. How are you? I answer with a doll head. That's close. Shiro, you seem pale. Are you feeling ill? Ah, uh, hoo hoo hoo. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm super ill. It's called love sick, baby love sick. No, I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm great. I'm awesome. I'm raring to go. I'm so good that you know. Uh, you could call me, uh, you know, is that a sword in my pocket or am I just happy to see you? Wait, I don't use swords. <gasps> it's a metal pipe. It's totally a pipe. It's a pipe. I quickly step back to get away from Seba. That's the awkward thing, though. You see, when males feel giggity, the women can kind of tell because, you know, the schlongs get longer. But, like, women's, they, they, they're cheaters because I don't think anything of theirs gets longer when they get all horny. Or does it? Do their boobs get longer? I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, I don't know enough about the women anatomy. Um, so, like, you know, they're cheaters. Men have an obvious giveaway. Um, but women, they get to keep it close to the chest, so to speak. Or possibly literally. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. <clears throat> I, don't know if, I don't know enough about the female plumbing. <clears throat> Uh, looking away from Seba, who is tilting her head questioningly, I calm down my pounding heart. Calm down, calm down. Uh, go down, Boner, go down. Not, not, not today, not right now, not today. She's a ghost. She's a ghost. It's weird like ghosts. <clears throat> also, you shouldn't have a relationship with the help. It's awkward having a relationship with your employers. <laughs> uh, she's sort of my employer. <clears throat> but I'm paying her with the inevitable promise of a grail war, not with actual money. What am I so tense about? Would you smooch a ghost? Shiro says the answer is yes, please. Undertale. I take a deep breath. But it doesn't seem to die down quickly. In fact, I don't think it ever will. Jeez, why has she changed? That reminds me. Holy shit. Has it been almost a year? Has it been almost a year since Deltarune? Oh my gosh. Because Deltarune, I believe, was released October 31st, Chapter 1 of um of deltarune and you know i i freaking love deltarune chapter one i like undertale but i think i like deltarune even more um and i'm excited to see where it goes and chapter two and i would not be surprised i wouldn't I, I mean i'm i'm not expecting anything but i wouldn't be surprised if deltarune chapter two just randomly because he seems like there's a lot of progress but i don't be surprised if chapter two just randomly dropped on october 31st of this year but, I mean, I also wouldn't be surprised if it didn't, because he says he wants to finish the whole game before he releases it. And I'll say this, I'm, I'm totes gonna stream Deltarune when the whole game comes out. Like, it's, it's gonna happen. Prepare your, prepare your anus. Um, uh, I know I've already played Chapter 1, but, like, there will probably be some changes, but, oh gosh, I am excited for that. Anyways, um, geez, why has she changed? Saber's clothes have changed dramatically since yesterday. Oh, do they, uh, uh, they, do they, uh, do they compliment her features more? That's the word I was looking for, compliment. She's wearing normal clothes, completely unlike her armor. It's rather unexpected and I'm troubled by it. This isn't normal. What do I do? How does my boner react? She's terribly beautiful. Terribly beautiful. Bad. I'm not supposed to like the, the help. Your relation, inter, inter working relationships are bad. I thought I figured that out yesterday, but it really hits me now. Shiro. You're so hot. I mean, uh, uh, hello. You, you, you very much helped me out yesterday when you saved my life. That was cool too. 
<clears throat> saving lives is also a hot thing, especially if you're a firefighter. Yes, my name is Shiro. I tense up the moment our eyes meet. <gasps> I didn't look for her so as to not to talk to- wait, I didn't look for her so as to not talk to her. That's fancy language. Right, you want to talk to her. I'm troubled, but I can't stay quiet forever. It's Saber, right? Or do you prefer Seba? This will be the first time we sit down and talk, um, but, but, I mean, I wasn't looking at your butt. I was definitely looking at your boobs. I mean, your butt. I mean, I wasn't looking at anything. Your face. I mean, not your face. It's not pretty. I mean, I was totally looking at your eyes. Your eyes are, that's, it's not implied to look at the eyes, right? Even if I like your face. That's okay, right? I can look at your eyes. What are the rules? What are the rules? Help me. I make up my mind and talk to her. And then... Shiro. <gasps> Oh shit, she's taking charge. Shiro, before that, there's something I'd like to tell you about last night. Wait, which one? Which part? The, the part where you saved my life? Wait, was it last night? Did it happen last night? It wasn't like a few days ago? I'm, I thought he would have needed a few days rest. I've forgotten. It's been a couple days because I was busy playing just guy out. <clears throat> which I'm not uploading to YouTube, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube. That's more of a Twitch thing right now because I'm just doing the demo. I haven't decided if I'm doing the full game yet. If I do the full game, it'll get uploaded to YouTube. But for now, it's just on Twitch. <clears throat> Uh, she interrupts my words with a sullenness, uh, a, a sullenness? She interrupts my words with a sullenness that makes her earlier calmness like an illusion. A sullen- is that spelled correctly? I would think it would be sulliness, S-U-L-L-I. Maybe that's because my Japanese is getting to me, and I know sully would be spelt with an I in Japanese, but I don't know. She interrupts my words with a sullenness, it's gotta be sulliness, that's gonna bug me, that makes her earlier calmness seem like an illusion. Alright, what is it? It's about last night. It's about last Shiro is my master. Shiro is my master. Shiro I'm aware sullen is a word, like, oh, they're sullen, but sullenness, I've never heard. I feel like if you say sullenness, you would say sulliness, which is why I would think you'd spell it with an I. Because I'm aware you can be sullen, but I would think it would be sulliness, not sullenness. So that, 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 that seems odd to me, but I'll take your words for it. Your words, because both of you have said it, so peer pressure, I guess I have to assume you're correct. You're my master. It's troubling if you take such an action. Battle is my work, so you must concentrate on your role. If you go and die in vain yourself, there's no way I can protect you. Yeah, Rin said the same gosh dang thing. Although it makes more sense for you to say it than Rin to say it. Rin said it because she likes me. You said it just because, you know, you want to not lose the Grail War by having me stupidly die. So it makes sense. Saber says so clearly. You're not wrong, but like, I, I was trying to roleplay as if Shiro would do what I would do. But I knew Shiro wouldn't do what I would do, so I tricked the closer option, which seemed more noble. <clears throat> that makes the tension I was feeling vanish. What do you mean? You would have been slashed if I didn't do that. I mean, you were able to regenerate- Well, then again, if she was able to regenerate my huge wound, then she probably wouldn't be able to regenerate her own huge wound. So I doubt she would have died from that one wound. And also, Elio walked away as a result of what I did. Granted, um, just because that's what happened doesn't mean it was a smart idea. I feel like we lucked out with how that worked out. But, um, so, like, in the end, it may have been the right thing to do in the grand scheme of things. But there's no reason to have thought at the time that that was the right thing to do, if that makes sense. Like, unless we really knew Elio well, which we didn't know her that well, so. Actually, no. It's more than just knowing Ilya really well. You would have had to know Saber really well and know that her regeneration powers would also regenerate you. So you have to know two things that you didn't know. Anyways, in that case, I would have just died. You know, just, you know, casual. I've done it before. Did it in the last one. It was not something you should have been hurt for. I'll repeat myself. Please do not take such an action again. There's no need for my master to protect me, and there's no reason for it either. There's reason for it. I mean, 
I mean, if you died, I mean, I we would lose the chance at the Grail. But the fact that I protected you and didn't die means that we didn't. Now, if I did die, we would have, but you, we didn't. I didn't die, and we're not dead yet, and we still have a chance at the Grail. Therefore, that means you care about my well-being. Aw, there's your goodness show, showing through. Lawful good. Aw. Please do not take such an action again. I'll agree. I, I shouldn't do it again, but I feel like the way it worked out wasn't necessarily incorrect. There's no need for my master to protect me. Eh... Uh, yeah, eh, I feel like on a case-by-case -case basis there is, but not in a situation like that and not in the way that I did it. Um, if I'm going to do it, I need to be more good about it and not so sloppy. There's no reason for it either. There is a reason to continue fighting the Grail War. Don't you have a wish that you really care about, like, big time? She speaks plainly. She's speaking so practically that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be stupid. You don't need a reason to save a girl. <laughs> you don't need a reason to save a girl. You only need a reason to save guys. Because, I mean, why would you want to save guys, right? But girls, I mean, there's automatically a reason because there's the inherent, oh, maybe they're going to be your waifu. So that's the inherent reason. So you don't need a reason to save girls. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> I would just die? Uh, no big deal. <laughs> uh, it's not a big deal. It's just death. I've done it before. Happened once before. <clears throat> at least once before. She also probably died in her real life as well. Fate Zero and in her real life. So at least twice. She's got experience dying. It's no biggie. I reply unconsciously. <laughs> that face. Maybe she was surprised at being yelled at, but she pauses for a moment as if I've done something unexpected. And then she stares at me with undis un undescribable dignity. Oh, uh, cause you know, oh, that's right. Oh, that's that would fucking piss her off. Cause that was a whole thing, right? She pretended to be a guy in her life, and and so most people didn't know she was a girl because she assumed that people wouldn't take her seriously if they knew she was a girl. So she pretended in her life to be a guy, and then when everyone and you know, it, it kind of makes it, it sort of followed through because when Kiritsugu found that she was a girl, he got kind of pissed. He expected a guy and thought, oh, girl, pff, that sucks. Um, and so, she kind of has a thing with this, like, where she's got a complex, where she wants to be taken seriously as a woman, but, like, she knew she probably wouldn't be, so she pretended to be a guy, and then when she got a f affirmation in Fate Zero that, you know, uh, being a woman gets her not taken seriously, that probably pissed her off, and so this is, like, further affirmation from Kiritsugu's son that, like, you don't need a reason to save girls, and therefore she is a girl, and, I don't know, it all sort of connects. It's different kind of sexism, where Kiritsugu thought that she just sucked because she was a woman, at least at first, whereas Shiro doesn't think she sucks. Well, I mean, she sort of did, but she thinks she needs saving, which is, it's the same thing, but not as direct. Whereas Kiritsugu directly thought she sucked at first because of being a woman. Um, Shiro indirectly, subconsciously thought she sucked because she's a woman, therefore she needs saving. That's subconscious sexism, not direct sexism, but indirect. Mmm. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> uh, and also she should have pride in the fact that she is strong despite being a woman. But yeah, anyways, that whole thing. She stares at me with indescribable dignity. Um, I back up a bit being stared at. Her look makes me realize that I've said something really out of place and that embarrasses me. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm grateful that you brought me home. Thank, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Sore wa doumo. Servant ga master o shugo suru no wa atarimai desu ga, kansha wa sareru no wa ureshii. Shiro wa reigi tarashii no desu ne. Doui tashimashite. You are welcome. I do know that. I've learned that recently that doi tashimashite is your welcome. I don't know if she actually said that, but I do know that can be that. She might have said something similar that the translator is your welcome. But anyways, it's natural for a servant to protect her master or his master, but I am happy to be thanked. You're very polite. <laughs> uh, more polite than um, his father, at least at the time. <laughs> Also, it's true. He's not polite. He's very, very blunt. He's just being polite with you because he's polite with women. And polite with, you know, women that he has a boner for, specifically. <laughs> uh, he's actually rather blunt. He's blunter than his father, I would say. It's just different circumstances. 
Uh, Kiritsugu never had the hots for Saber, so. <clears throat> More importantly, there's something I need to clarify right now. It's something I should have asked uh, right after I got home yesterday. If she really is my servant, and if she really is taking part in this war. Uh, going back to our conversation, Seba, I'll ask formally, but can I call you Seba or should it be Saber? Or would you prefer your real name? You haven't told me your real name yet, but uh, do you feel like it or no? Yes, since I have formed a contract with you as a servant, I am your sword. I'll follow your orders, defeat your enemies, and protect you. Well, that sounds like a pretty great sword. A sword that can even protect. Nice. Not just attack, but also protect. Saber says so without the slightest hesitation, but you still haven't talked about, you know, names and stuff. There's no room for me to question her about it. Become my sword, huh? To win this Holy Grail War? You mean by doing a magic change? Hashtag Disgaea reference. Snark snark. <clears throat> Will you also have a penguin face? Probably not. Is that not why you summoned me? That's what I've been fucking trying to say, woman! I didn't purposely summon you! I don't know what's going on! I didn't even write out the summoning circle! No, I summoned you because you didn't summon her for any reason! You didn't purposely summon her! Now are you finally gonna come to this realization and wonder what the fuck? I can't say it was by pure accident. Why not? Explain that to her. Get her input. See if she has any knowledge of what could have happened. Uh, I think Japan's gender role stuff is mixing in with Shiro's hero thing, even if he doesn't actually look down on her so far. Um, I don't know if it's Japan specifically. I mean, maybe to an extent, but Shiro seems especially, uh, especially if it is a Japan gender role thing, then he is super falling in line with the stereotypical gender role thing. Because I've definitely seen a lot where men aren't as sexist inherently towards the women. Um, but he seems rather sexist. Um, but, yeah. First of all, I didn't even summon her. Well, you did, you just weren't trying to. She just appeared when I was in danger and saved me with her own decision. Because you are her master. The result is the situation we're in. I became Saber's master and I was dragged into this thing called the Holy Grail War. Not one bit of it was my intention. So the frickin' circle! There should be a circle inside your shed, right? You talked about it a little bit. You were vague as shit and you haven't mentioned it since, but that's gotta be what it is, right? I'm just an amateur magus that was dragged into this battle beyond my abilities. <laughs> what of it, man? Woman, get off my penis! Or, you know, maybe later. I've already convinced myself I have to fight. I can't complain now. Ew, I spit on my screen at some point. I'm gonna wipe that off. Ew. It's okay, it wasn't on chat, guys. Don't worry. I just spit on the game, not on chat. You're safe. You're safe, chat, for now. You, you didn't get... I didn't spit in your direction yet. I shake my head lightly and stop whining. That's it! That's the last straw! I said I will fight! Fight all this! So I can't even talk about running away. My name's not even Shinji, but I still mustn't run away. This will be the last time I will talk or think about whining. Really? Ever? In your life? Mm. Uh, rip this version of Shiro. Probably not gonna live that long. No matter how the decision came, I have decided to fight! Shiro. Saber! Uh, yeah, non -demo -nai. It's nothing. Nandemonai. Nai is a negative, so nandemo is something? I know nande is like, why? What's nandemo? I gotta check if nandemo is something specific. I think it is. Um, anyways, it's nothing. Okay, 
明日にでも昨日みたいなことになりかねないそれでもいいのか But Saber, there is only a small chance of winning if you stay with me. I don't have the powers or the brains of Tosaka. So tomorrow might end up like today. Are you okay with that? You okay with, you know, you could always trade Master slyly and go with Tosaka instead. I mean, she'd be kind of a big toe sucker to abandon Archer, but you know. Does that mean you lack the will to fight? She's very honorable, very lawful. That is a lawful thing to do. She got summoned to a shit master, but despite that, she's willing to serve me and try her best under the conditions. Instead of trying to change the conditions, the Kobayashi Maru, instead of trying to change the conditions to be more favorable, like, you know, um, getting me killed and switching up、uh, who her master is to go for a more advantageous position, she's just thinking of doing it the lawful, correct way, which is a nice thing because, you know, certain other、um, servants aren't as nice. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I've got the will, I just don't have the chance of victory. What's that song? I got the something, got the will, I don't got the power of. I don't know the song at all, but it's in my head a little bit, just a little bit. I just don't have the chance of victory. I'm just absolute garbage. So I'm asking if you're alright serving such a garbo master. This is a battle I've decided to take on. But, like, are you okay working under me despite me, you know, being a sucksor, sucksor guy? Therefore, so, da k a r a I think it's wrong for someone to get hurt in my place. But she's like the servant, that's the point. Have you not been paying attention? Even though I'm weak, making Saber fight, and. Ooh, yeah. I can't stand letting a scene like that happen again. Oh, but that gave Inu Tai Hanyu the hots. Do you prefer Inu Hanyu or Inu Tai Hanyu? Or should I just call you Inu Yasha? <clears throat> You're my master, Shiro. This fact will not change. A servant does not have the freedom to choose its master. Ah!、Uh... Debatable depends on the um, the depends on the servant. Dash, 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 dash. That's true. That's why Saber is my servant right now. I should try my best not to burden her too much. Don't fuck it up. Wakata. All right. You're content I'm your master? You're content. You're, so you're content I'm your master. I feel like that's grammar bad. So you're content that I'm your master? You're, so you're content I'm your. That feels like that's shorthand. That's like internet shorthand. Like you wouldn't really say that.、But、then again, Shiro is very blunt. So maybe he said something in Japanese that's not prop, proper grammar either. Like maybe he left out particles. I do know actually it's pretty common in Japanese speech to leave out particles when you're talking informally. Um, but I don't know enough about that yet. Well, because I'm still learning, but、um, I do know it's pretty common in, in informal speech to leave out the particles.、Um, but, anyways, particles, things like wa,、um, you know, like watashi wa shiro. You could just say watashi shiro.、Uh, wa would be the particle. So that's just an example of the particle. Or let's fight would be like、uh, tata, fighto, fighto wo des,、uh, which would be o. Or, no, that wouldn't even be quite right. Anyways, <clears throat> Inu is cool. Oh, she, you want me to call you Inu? No, that's too weird. It's too weird. I, got, I gotta use a long name. Hmm, how about Inu? Inu, I, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll do half and half. Inu Taisha. In, Inu Hansha. Inu Yusha. Inu Yusha. Inu Misha. Inu Yusha. You can ten time your master? Eh. This is a s h i r o Yes, but Shiro, I will not allow defeat for my master. I mean, you say that, but like. If you have no chance of victory, I'll make one for you. Making the impossible possible. I will use every means possible to have you obtain the Holy Grail. To obtain the Holy Grail, right? Huh? Right? Well, you know, they could say everybody's, you know, all of your grails. Ev- ev- everybody has their own personal grail. I have a glass of water. 
and there's some water in it. There's a holy grail inside inside all of it. I'm making some kind of joke, I think. I'm just gonna drink some water now. Tosaka said servants also have a wish they want granted. So yeah, she really she really wants that victory. So Saber must be no exception. That's why she has no doubts. But that means Hold on, Saber. Gosh, Shiro, haven't you read her blurb? She's lawful good. She's good. She's the only good servant we've seen so far. Of course she wouldn't do that. I mean, sure, she'll ruthlessly kill other masters. But, I mean, you know, she won't do dirty things like that, I don't think. You said any means possible, right? Does that mean you don't care what measures you take to win the war? For example, attacking people to gain power? I cannot finish. Ooh, that stare. I guess her answer is no. Saber is looking at me like I'm an enemy. Ooh, so she doesn't like people like that. Oh, her, her, her. I mean, she is... Okay, all right. So she's still a good person. She just, you know... She's a little more ruthless now with the whole master killing than she was in, in Zero. Back then, she was a little more honorable, but in the wrong way. She's not not honorable now. She's still honorable, but she's changed her definitions <clears throat> a little bit. Shiro, that's not a possibility. Have you not seen my alignment? <laughs> oh, gosh dang. It doesn't go in line with my alignment. That's, that's not how it works. Your alignment follows what you do, not the other way around, but... <clears throat><笑>私は、私が許す行為しかできない。自分を裏切ることは、私には不可能です。剣を持たぬ人間に傷を負わせることなど、騎士の視界に反します。I can only do those things I will allow myself to do. I cannot betray my beliefs. It is against the knight's oath to hurt those who are unarmed. That's fair. That's a fair stance. If they're not participating in the fight, they shouldn't get involved in it. If they are participating, though, no freaking mercy. Uh, that's fair. Um, that's fair. That's fair. I do feel like at a certain point when you don't even show mercy to the child masters, like not even giving them a chance, that feels a little mean. Um, that does feel a little bloodthirsty, a little cold. But at least you are aren't going to go so far as to harm civilians. That's fair. That's fair. So you've you you you're a little you're less of a goody goody than you were in in stain in, in zero. But you're still you've got you still have your your beliefs and you still have your system. It's just some of them have been dropped a bit <clears throat> or never existed. If it's. <laughs> But I must obey if you order so. In that case, you'll have to use one of your command spells to compensate for treating ins for treading inside me. <laughs> uh. I'm overwhelmed by her angered voice. Didn't sound very angry. I must obey if you order so. In that case, you'll have to use one of your command spells to compensate for treading inside me. Anger voice. She sounded pretty composed. <clears throat> It's not her voice, it's her stare. But still, I'm happy and relieved. Her lack of doubt gave her the image of a cold fighting machine. But I know now that she is not a cold-blooded killer. That's true, she has been pretty, you know, cold so far. So, this is really our first look at the fact that she's not a complete crazy murder demon. Well, we saw that also in the ending where we, you know, got killed by Ilya terribly. We saw that she wasn't gonna, willing to kill us just to, you know, take advantage of something something. But, um, but this is our first time seeing it in this pathway, it seems. Yeah, I won't let you do such a thing. I never would have wanted it anyways. I just wanted to make sure my servant wasn't a douchebag. Now we're on the same wavelength. We both get to good, be good people together. The only difference is I don't want to kill masters. As you say, we have to do our best with what we can, what we can do. I'm really sorry. I insulted you without realizing it. Which part? I mean, you insulted her several times uh, without realizing it because of the female gender in general. Or did you mean insult? Oh, you you mean you insulted her by assuming that she might be okay with that stuff? I never thought that you were assuming that. Maybe you were, in which case, bad Shiro. I was more 
I, to me, if I had said that, that would have just been a general question to gauge what the alignment of my servant is, not assuming. It's not assuming the alignment, it's just trying to check what it is, because maybe I didn't know. But he should have known, because he could have read the frickin' book, so he should have already known. Frickin' derp. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Saber blush. <gasps> Is it hot in here? I jumped to a hasty conclusion without knowing your intentions. You're not at fault, so please, raise your head. No. Oh, sorry. I apologize without realizing it. Usually that's a Sakura thing. Uh, Gome. Uh, uh, sorry for sorrying. I'm sorry that I apologized. Sorry for saying sorry. That's kind of backwards. Stop apologizing all the time, you dork. <laughs> I raise my head. Dash, dash, dash. Ooh, <gasps> the smile that launched a, f a thousand fan fictions. What? <clears throat> I don't know. It's funny, but Saber has a small smile on her face. Maybe she expect. Oh, probably she expected me to be more cold-hearted, because Kiritsugu was at least in the, the Zero Grail War. Um, so she likely expected to me me to be a little more ruthless. And maybe that's why she jumped to the conclusion that when I asked her of that, that I'd be okay with those things. So the fact that I don't want those things is a good thing. And so she jumped to a conclusion as well. Makes sense. Eh? Well, I'm glad she's smiling, but I want to ask her about it. I forgot to tell you. What did you forget? I wonder how she's going to feel about this. I said we'll do whatever we can, right? Uh, as one measure, I've decided to cooperate with Tosaka for a while. Remember Archer's master, uh, who you were fighting with, who you were with for a while yesterday? Rin,ですか?そうですね。確かにそれは賢明な判断です。指導がマスターとして成熟するまで。you mean Rin? I see. That is certainly an intelligent choice. There'll be many things you can learn from her until you become a suitable master. Then we kill her. Here's what's going to be deciding for me. You say that we should leave people that aren't involved in the fight out of it, but what is your stance on things like stabbing Rin in the back? Because she is part of the fight, but we have a temporary alliance. So are you someone who would not be willing to fight Rin stab her in the back at all until we both agreed to start fighting each other are you going to be honorable like that i think so but that you know that that's it's interesting you know um to see where you fall on that fence i'm assuming you you wouldn't be willing to stab her in the back until we've both agreed to start fighting each other again but um i, I could still see it as possible given what i know of you so far in your fate day night incarnation thank god Kamisama, thank you. Arigato gozaim also. What? If Saber agrees, I can properly cooperate with Tosaka. The only other thing I need to ask her right now is, what about the summoning circle? Do you know anything about it? Do you want to look at the summoning circle in my shed and maybe bring to light some stuff of what the heck happened? Nope, that's not it. What question then? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is Saber the Saber class? Not possible. Which heroine is Saber? Gee, which. Oh, never mind. No, she was going to ask her real name. Sorry, I misread. I thought he was asking which, like, heroine as in which class. But now that I reread that, I think he's going to ask the actual real name. I think that's important to know. Um, is she all right or where did you get those clothes? Okay. Um, gee, uh, what do I want to ask about? Which heroine is Saber? Is she all right? Um, I mean, she seems all right. But that is actually important information. I should know, as her master, I should know how long she takes to recover. Like, yes, she has Wolverine powers, but, like, she said that it only counts for external wounds, not internal. So is she still fucked up internally? Does that still need to get sorted to? Um, and where did you get those clothes? Uh, I mean, they're all important questions. 
well, where did you get those clothes is the least important, I would say. So let's go between the first top two. Is she all right and which heroine is Saber? Um... Uh, if I ask, is she all right? Then that's, you know, I think that's going on her waifu route because she'll be like, no, you don't have to worry about my, my well-being. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm the servant. I'm, but no, strategically, uh, that would be an interesting question to ask. But which heroine is Saber? I, Renegade, already know the answer to that, but, um, it would be good for Shiro to know, I suppose. Uh, but then we would get so much more lore. I don't want any more lore right now. Let's just ask if she's all right. Yep, that's the deciding factor. No more lore right now, please. I'm worried about Saber's body after she was wounded so much. More importantly, Saber. Uh, are you alright? The wound you took from Berserker was pretty bad. My body's just as it appears. Well, sure, but you said yesterday that only your external wounds were healed and your internal was still fucked up. So is that still true? Or, it, like, has a long rest recovered that? Did you recover all your HP during your long rest? Long rest is freaking overpowered. Get all your spells back, all your HP back. You know, you should maybe... You don't even keep any wounds. If if I ever DM for d and I want to make... Okay, if I DM for d and I've had the thought that, like, I would make, like, if you go unconscious, you could actually start taking real wounds that, you know, if you, like, fail a death save and then you come back to consciousness, you'll keep that failed death save. I would probably have a rule like that. And if you accumulate the death saves, you could, the death saves would probably go away with a long rest, but... Or maybe, like, you'd remove one with a long rest. I don't know. I've just thought about that and how I want more... Because the whole idea of, oh, you go unconscious, you, take, you fail two death saves. Oh, you get brought back up, you're just fine. Oh, you go unconscious, fail two more death saves, but you still haven't died yet. Seems weird. Like, shouldn't failing death saves be a little more permanent? Anyways, D&D &D tangent. Um, I mean, of course, the rules even state in most tabletop RPGs that they're all, you know, the rules are yours to homebrew. But <clears throat> it's just things I've thought of. My body is just as it appears. <clears throat> That wound was certainly one that would have led to my defeat, but it was not fatal. I finished healing about an hour after Berserker left. That's good. It's good that it wasn't fatal. We don't, we don't, we don't want a fatal stay night. About, oh, for a second I thought you were going to say about an hour ago, as in you finished an hour ago. I finished healing an hour after Berserker left, including the internal wounds, including, like, me, including the wounds you had to heal off me. Is your Wolverine powers that strong? Because that's freaking strong. Like, that soup's dupe strong. Too strong. Saber too strong. Uh, oh, oops. Oops, I did a thing by accident. Huh? Then, uh, did I skip anything by accident? Um, nope, I only skipped one line. Okay. Then you're completely healed now? Okay, I gotta check something real quick. What the hecky heck? Okay, there we go. I just fixed my thing. I undid a thing, and then I did a thing, and then I undid it, and then I did a thing. Okay. You're completely healed now? Of course, but I'm not back up to my normal condition yet. Okay, so what's your normal condition, and how long does it take to heal to that? Uh, now we know why Rin has such a boner for Seba. Seba! <laughs> um, I mean, sort of, a little bit, maybe. But I mean, okay, you know, Rin had a boner for Saber before even knowing the specifics about this Saber. I don't even think Rin knows that this is, you know, the real identity of this Saber. I think I'll hold off on saying what it actually is until they say, but I don't know if it's supposed to be obvious, but we might even just be about to find out. We might have to ask all the questions, and maybe one of those times, but... I'm back up to my normal condition yet. I'm, I mean, I'm not. Berserker's hit was a simple one, so it could be healed, but the wound by my last year's noble phantasm is dip. Oh, oh, I thought it was the reverse. So Berserker was just doing, you know, external damage that ultimately wasn't that bad, whereas Lancer's phantasm actually did a lot worse. Interesting. That's interesting to note. It seemed on the surface like Berserker's was much, much worse. But in reality, at least for where you're concerned, because of your healing factor, Lancer's was worse. Interesting. Is there any way to heal off Lancer's so you aren't gimped? I don't want I don't want my gimped servant. Is that how it evens out the war? We're already even because I'm a shit master. <laughs> Hmm. 
That Lance must bear a special curse, as the wound from him is not completely healed yet. Also, it should have been a one-shot, one-kill, and I guess you were able to avoid it because of your high luck stat. Dash, dash, dash. Also, because you can see the future a little bit. A combination of both, I suppose. Not completely healed, huh? It doesn't look that way, but Saber isn't one to talk about her pain. As long as I'm fighting alongside Saber, I should pay attention and worry about her body. I gotta do a lot of worrying about her body, which means looking it up and down. You say you're not healed yet? Let me take a nice look over you. Maybe you should take off your clothes. <clears throat> and then... I hear the sound of something heavy falling at the door. <gasps> is it Fujimura? Or is it Sakura? Or one of the two? Because, you know, so far, those two have been completely absent for this whole Grail War thing. Are, is, are they going to run into Saber? How much can I tell them about Saber? If one of them is a plot twist master, then meeting Saber will be a huge deal, so I should hide Saber from them, right? Oh, gosh, gosh, diddly gumdrops. Gosh, diddly gumdrops, what do we do? Dosun. Huh? I turn around wondering what it was. There. Oh, is a Tosaka with a big bag at her feet. Oh, okay. Ba oh, that's the same clothes she wore um, when she summoned Archer. Uh, first time seeing those clothes in her. Nice, nice. Okay, I, I, I thought it would be Sakura or, 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 or Fujimura or whatever, but okay, so it's Rin. I mean, it seemed like you left, but I guess you left to get some stuff, and now you're back, and now we're going to train? Uh, are we about to do a training montage? Hi? Eh? My mind freezes. Tosaka, who supposedly went home, is at my dojo. And she's wearing normal clothes for some reason. And why does she have that big bag? Maybe it's magical stuff that I'm going to have to try in with. Or magical bling. Like, I have to become an artificer because I'm shitty magic normally. I have to bling myself out with magical equipment. You know, um, Terry and Darian ting this stuff. <laughs> uh, what are you here for, Tosaka? Ah! you Rin. you're weird but i like you <laughs> i think you went up on my totem pole i think you went up on my um my totem pole i think you're up there um Shira now has four girls yeah yeah because rin but also fujimura but also saber and also tosaka <laughs> it's like <laughs> how is he get rin how are you gonna explain this to sakura what's the excuse gonna be how is that gonna, like, are you gonna hide yourself from Sakura? What's your plan? Is Fujimura, what's Fujimura gonna think? <laughs> I just went to get my stuff from my house. It's natural since I'll be living here from now on. This feels like high school DXD. <clears throat> Instead, it's Grail War DXD. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's not high school DXD. It's like, I can't believe it's not butter, but I can't believe it's not DXD. I'm going to go get some more water. We're going to do a uh, BRB here because I want to keep going for a while. Um, uh, nope, don't spell that wrong. I constantly spell Grail War with an E instead of an I. Uh, an A. No, yeah, an A. In, yeah, an E instead of an A. Grail War DXD. Um, save. Uh, hold on a sec while we BRB. Uh, I'm gonna get more water and take a piss and do all that stuff. Um, 59 drop frames, not 69, how dare you? If you're gonna drop frames, at least drop 69. Tosaka. Huh? What are you here for, Tosaka? I just went to get my stuff from my house. It's natural since I'll be living here from now on. <laughs> so fucking great. This is your way of getting the lay of the land, huh? This is your way of learning what all my dirty secrets are, isn't it? So that you can use them against me once we start fighting again after we beat Berserker. 
Or, or are you really gonna do that? Because maybe once we beat Berserker, you'll be my waifu. And by then, I should maybe strategically make you my waifu, even if I don't actually want you to be my waifu. Even if I prefer Sakura and, and Ilya, I should strategically make you my waifu so that you don't fight me. So that strategic waifu. It's like a marriage of, you know, instead of a, an arranged marriage for political re it's still, a, it would be a political marriage. It would just be a surprise political marriage, like surprise mechanics, surprise political marriage. She just won't know it's political. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> and so I'll be living here from now on, you know, just, you know, the usual. We're, I'm going to be living here, you know, but just, Jesus. <laughs> ah! It's great. <laughs> Exclamation marks and question point? <laughs> Live? You mean you living in my house? That's what cooperation means. What did you think our talk was about earlier? You know, just, you know, working together, not necessarily living together. So what about Archer? Is he going to be coming over here soon? <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, which two of you do I sleep with on a regular basis? What? No, okay, that's not not quite high school DXD yet. <laughs> I'm so surprised I can't speak. Something. I have to say something back, or something terrible is going to happen. My head will not function. <laughs> Where's my room? If you don't have one prepared, I'll choose one myself. What's your thoughts on sharing? <clears throat> what? Uh, uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a room. Uh, Sakura has a room. I think Fujimura has a room. Do we have any more rooms? How big is Kiritsugu's house? <laughs> you have one prepared, don't you? Mm. It's kind of short notice, you know. Uh, gosh, is Shiro going to end up having to sleep on the... Maybe he'll just make the shed his room from now on. He practically sleeps there most of the time anyways. <clears throat> Uh, have you considered bunking with Sakura? What are you gonna tell Sakura about this? What's our lie gonna be? Because obviously we can't tell her about the Grail War, because at least assumedly at the moment she's not part of it. So therefore we have to tell her some kind of lie. So what's the planned lie? Like, you're the one who came up with this idea to live together, so Sakura, so Rin, what's the lie? Uh. The unexpected invader mercilessly continues the discussion. I feel like you bunking with Sakura would make the most sense. You're good friends, right? Or at least kind of good friends. You supposedly saved me because of your friends with Sakura. That might have been partially because you actually just wanted my dick and didn't realize it, but I assume you're at least some level of good friends with Sakura. <laughs> Hold on, that's uh, da, 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 da. Isn't this bad morally? <laughs> Is it? Well, what about you living with Rin? Isn't that also- sorry, Sakura? Pfft, words, names. Isn't that also bad morally? Look, Tosaka's the idol at my school. Just having her in my house will cause a panic, so having her live here would be crazy and Fujine would kill me. Maybe she's planning to drive me insane to reduce the number of masters? <laughs> it's all part of the plan, all according to Kaikaiku. No, I don't think she's that crafty. She's very blunt. Like, she- it's not that she doesn't have good strategy, but the, what's the thing? The difference between strategy and tactics, short term and long term. She has good short term plans. She doesn't seem to have. She's not a long term thinker. I don't think she's blunt in that sense. In the sense of fighting, she prefers to just you know get out and do it. I don't think she's much of a long term planner. She's not a long conner, so I don't think she's really planning that. Um, it's not that she's a bad strategist. She just doesn't do long strategies. Whatever. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> oh. She's close. Oh, why don't you prepare a room for her as well? Your servant takes up space, unlike Archer. So, you should give her a place to sleep. Well, if just one bed is no problem for you, then I wouldn't mind. Just one bed is no problem for who? Who? What? I'm confused. Do I have two extra rooms? Gosh, she was gonna end up having to sleep in the shed. Someone's gonna sleep in my room. Saber will probably end up sleeping in my room. Rin wouldn't want to sleep in my room. Or would she? She would, but she wouldn't admit it. Saber probably wouldn't have um, pride in that sense. She wouldn't have the... Um, uh, I don't think Saber really has the hots for Shiro. At least not yet. She may develop into having the hots for them if we do a Saber route. But 
only very only very minimally maybe very very minimally where where Rin definitely has the hots for me Wait that that means sleeping in the same bed, right? Wait, who's sleeping in the same bed? I'm sorry. What? Um, wait, if it's just one bed is no problem for you, then I wouldn't mind. Wait, who's one bed? Who are we sleep? Who's sleeping in the same bed? Me and Ren? I mean, that's a bit fast. I mean, you're one of my bottom waifus, but I like all of you, actually, so I wouldn't mind. I mean, if that's what you're going for, sure, whatever. Let's just do it. Let's just jump for it. <laughs> uh... Oh, are you saying saber? Saber in my bed. Oh, okay, that's a little more squick in my opinion still, but you know. <laughs> of course I won't. What are you saying while well, I'm not saying anything? I wouldn't do such a thing. Saber's a girl. <laughs> yeah, but she's also a servant. You ever seen the point? But oh well, that's what Shio says, Saber. It would be convenient to have Saber sleep with me because... <laughs> Because she could protect me at all times if she's sleeping in the same room. <laughs> um, I mean, in the same bed might be a bit much, but like, in the same room would be convenient. <laughs> he says he doesn't like to be in the same room with a girl. I mean, <laughs> at least when he's sleeping. Then again, he doesn't mind Rin waking him up. Uh, well, he, no, sorry, Sakura, I confuse their names. Why am I confusing their names? Don't even start with the same letter. Um, ooh, are we dropping frames? Are we dropping? Where are we dropping, boys? Oh, okay, OBS says we're back. Are we back now? We dropped for a little bit? <laughs> Gosh, internet, why you do this? I'm actually su surprised. I was expecting it to dirt more, so... But it seems to be back up now. Uh, Twitch? Okay, Twitch Inspector, you're behind the times. It is not dropping anymore. Twitch Inspector is always so gosh dang slow. Um, anyways. <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, yeah, girls, cooties, ew, gross. Ellipses. Gosh. Uh, Rin is so casual, whereas Saber is a lot more, um, uh, a lot more stone-faced, a lot more stone-cold. So how does, I don't know. How, how will they interact? They haven't had much time to interact yet. Ren and Saber haven't had that much of a chance to talk. Not moving. Saber makes a difficult face. Oh, God. <laughs> and Rin with that sleazy face. Are you sure you're okay with that, Rin? You're not going to get jealous at all? Oh, here's probably what it is. Rin doesn't wor isn't worrying about, um... R unlike Shiro, Rin's more like me than she is like Shiro in the sense that she doesn't really think of servants probably as real people. She thinks of them as more of tools to get the grail. So she's not really thinking of Saber as a competition for Shiro's affection. So she's not really worried about anything dirty happening, which is which might be her downfall if I end up getting with Saber. Ugh. But, um, probably that's why she is not at all feeling jealous at the prospect and instead thinking it's funny because she doesn't think of servants. She thinks of more just as them as familiars and not like people to, you know, make the sex with. <clears throat> that's not good, Shiro. Servants depict their masters. The hours of sleep are the most crucial time for protecting you, so I cannot protect you unless I am in the same room. <laughs> are we going to be sleeping at different times, by the way? Do servants need to sleep? I forget. Do you guys only need to, like, rest if you're damaged, or do you naturally- You probably don't need to sleep. I would assume servants don't need to sleep. I forget the specifics, but I doubt they need to sleep. Uh, so if you watched me while I was sleeping, that's kind of creepy, but also, you know, for the Grail Wars sake. As long as you would both keep our clothes on. I'm in trouble if you say that. What are you thinking? Are you two really girls? <laughs> First of all, um, very sexist, very typical girl. Um, Rin is not the stereotypical girl, for sure, but also, Saber obviously isn't, because she's a freaking servant! Um, but also, 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 also... Is, is Saber even really a girl? I mean, debatable. She's a girl spirit. She's a ghost. Would smooch a ghost. <laughs> Their reactions. <laughs> oh, both of them. Nice. <clears throat> Ellipses, ellipses. Why? Because they both have the hots for me? And yet Rin's not blushing about it. 
maybe because Rin is, maybe Saber is thinking about, maybe Saber's blushing because she actually is thinking about the implications for once. Whereas Rin is like, huh? Saber as in girl that way? And she's thinking about that, but not blushing because I'm referring to sleeping with Saber, not with Rin. Why are you two looking silently, man, like that? Hmm. Yep, that's so. Servants are servants, there's no need to treat them as humans. But I guess it's useless to tell Shira that I thought that's what your mindset would be. Otherwise, I think you'd be jealous about this. But, um, <laughs> uh, Shiro does not have the same mindset. So should you be jealous because Shiro has a different mindset? Or is there no point to that because you assume that nothing would ever happen between Shiro and, and Saber and you still have your chance to get giggity with him? <clears throat> dash, dash, dash. My mouth, about to protest, stops. The weird feeling I had when talking with Tosaka in the living room returns. <laughs> Actually, I figured out that the, ca the cause of this feeling. Oh, really? Is it called a boner? Hold on, Tosaka. Since when did you start calling me by my name? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Um, interesting. So she's calling him Shiro. Um, before she called him, I do remember that she called him Emiya-kun a little while ago. I'm not sure exactly when she started calling him Shiro. Probably after the life or death battle with Berserker, when she saw that Shiro was about to die, is probably when she stopped denying her feelings, and that yes, she wants my penis. And so once she realized that, she decided to start calling me Shiro at that point. So probably since the beginning of our conversation yesterday, she's been calling me Shiro. I wasn't really paying attention to all that, but um, I will take Shiro's word for it. Am I? I wasn't really conscious of it, so it must have been a while ago. Just like how you're not really conscious of your feelings for me? Mmm, seems doubtful. But, you know, even if you're not conscious of it, your subconscious is really starting to like me. I think. It was. I think you must have, you've been calling me that for a while. I see, I'll be careful if you don't like that. But don't you like it? Mm? For me to call you by your name? Oh, ooh, mm? I mean, it's a little forward. Just saying Shiro, no Shiro-kun. First of all, first name, not last name. Second of all, no kun, no, no, is there any, are you calling me kun at least? I don't think so. Uh, giggity. Tosaka says so plainly without realizing what I'm feeling. Ooh, or does she? Uh, I don't think she does because eh, I don't think she wants to because she still thinks of you as eventually someone she's gonna have to defeat eventually. She's being casual about this now, but she can't fully admit to her inner feelings because we're still eventually gonna have to fight, maybe, possibly, maybe. Jeez, just like you said, Issei. <laughs> I think Tosaka Ren's a real devil. Oh, you're not gonna start calling her Rin? Would that be too forward? Fine, call me whatever you like. I don't care, whichever you prefer is fine. So? Really? Then I'll do that. Ooh, that blushing suggests you know exactly what you're doing to some extent. Or at least just now you know. And now that you've realized, you you want to keep calling me Shiro because you prefer it because you like me. <laughs> Talking so seriously about it. <laughs> Rin, please do not end the conversation. We have not come up for a solution for the matter of the room for Shiro and I. <laughs> Um, hmm, interesting. I'm just thinking about Rin. There's also the idea, I don't think Rin is the long con type of person. The more that I see Rin, the more I'm thinking she's very much a, she might do short term plans, but not long term plans. Um, I don't think she's this kind of person, but one strategy she could employ is calling me by my first name to get me to lower my guard. Get me to think that we're close because she's calling me by my first name, but that's all part of her trap. When in reality, she's actually planning to do something fucked up. But, again, I don't think she's a long con type person. Um, it's not a blush? The shading on her face? Looks like a blush to me. I'm taking it as a blush, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, 
ど白がこの様子だと相部屋は難しいわねサーバントを人間扱いしてもいいことなんてないけど白が嫌だって言うんだから諦めたら Interesting and now you're giving in to Shiro's demands You know, you know, you are sort of bossing Shiro around being like, yeah, I'm living here. Just, you know,、mm. but, um, but I don't know. But, um, the fact that you're, it, I guess it means you start, you're starting to sort of know Shiro's character. But does it? Because I feel like Rin's even more stubborn than Shiro is. Of course, of course, but it'll be hard to stay in the same room with Shiro acting like that. There's no point in treating a servant like a human. Why don't you give up since Shiro doesn't want it? Give up since Shiro doesn't want it? Will you give up when Shiro doesn't want you? <gasps> oh, you're watching from a phone? Or are you just typing from a phone?、Uh, watching from a phone seems so weird to me. I like having my big monitor, my big, like, 10,000 inch monitor. I don't know, inches. It's not that big, of course, but this is. それは違う。シロは困ると言っただけで、嫌だとは言っていない。<笑> that is incorrect. Shiro only said it would trouble him, and he did not say he did not want it. <笑> Those are two separate things, that's true.、Uh, it could be that he actually really wants it, and that's what's troubling him so much. <笑> that's a new face. だってさ、そのあたりどうなのシロ Well, what do you say, Shiro? Maybe I'll be more comfortable with two women in my room. How will you feel about that, Rin? Also being in my room. How will you feel? Will you still be so funny, funny about it? Oh no, your laptop's broken. Hope you can get that fixed. That sucks, Horus. Dash, dash, dash. Hold on. Why, after only a day, does she keep on calling me Shiro like I'm a cat she found? Well, you kind of are. You're like a weirdo Magi who got dragged into this fight without knowing anything about it, and she's kind of trying to take care of you. You are sort of like a stray cat, stray magical cat that wandered into the grill w a r without knowing anything, and she's taking pleasure in it. She thinks it's fun. And she can't get, it makes sense because she doesn't normally get a chance to talk like this normally with people her age. All the magical people she associates with probably are part of the association that she doesn't even like, so this is a very rare experience for her. So she's getting into it even if she doesn't realize how much she's getting into it. No, that's not the problem, but Saber's room is. Shiro, more to the Kikimas. Swimming to no Kago, Sarban to no Yakuaris. Cat Wars. Where's Neko Chan? Shiro, I'll ask you again. It's a servant's duty to guard you while you sleep. I believe you understand your position as a master.、Uh, even if you glare at me like that, I can't do it. Damn it. Saber, you have bits no hair, we always. No, I'll prepare a separate room for Saber.、Uh, I'll try to prepare one as close to mine as possible. Please be happy with that. No, man, you're, get, you're letting your freaking emotional, ethic, morals get in the way. This is a war. Again, you gotta have her in your room. Doesn't matter if it's, she's creepy, if it's creepy. Even if you do think of her as a person, which she's kind of a ghost, you still just don't, just don't worry about the creepy. The creepy is okay because it's the Grail War. Just think of it like that. A creepy is okay as long as it's the Grail War. A creepy ain't a crime. <laughs> and Rin's all happy about it and Saber's all mad. Rin's just enjoying the show, I think. Or maybe Rin's enjoying that I'm rejecting Saber because that means she has an opening for me to accept her. <clears throat> <laughs> Scaring me won't work as a man. Sexism. I won't surrender to you on this, Saber. You should understand your situation better. I mean, you are the servant after all, to be fair. <laughs> so for once, I'm going to treat you like one. That's why I'm trying to protect my master as a servant. そうじゃなくて自分のことだってのああもうわからないないそれ以上言うなら<笑>レイジを使ってでも言うことを聞かせるからな No, I mean about yourself You're hot I have a boner for you Jeez, if you don't understand that's fine If you say any more I'll make you obey using my command spell <laughs> That'd be such a waste of a command spell <laughs> So just give in, Saber Oh no Ter It's terrible Terrible It'd be much better if, if Saber was in、uh, my room This actually gives a good chance for Rin to off me in my sleep if she was that kind of person but I don't think she is at this point I breathe out hard and intimidate Saber. Do you? Is it intimidation? 
uh, I don't think she herself has realized the idea of an interrelationship between humans and ghosts. She probably just, it's not even on the table for her, would be my guess. Um, uh, unlike with, uh, with Shiro. I think also it's not on the table for Rin, but she understands that that's how Shiro views it because he doesn't know, he doesn't understand the idea of familiar as well enough. <laughs> That'd be the reverse! <laughs> it is troubling if you use the command spell for such a thing. Our future is doomed if you use one of the three orders things to or order me not to protect you. Yeah, that'd be really dumb. Uh, nice. Also, speaking of wasting command spells, Rin, uh, how's that feel? Uh, uh. I'm sure Shiro will be the first and last master to do that. Don't be stupid. I don't want to use it for this either. わかりました。マスターの方針に従います。ですが、敵に襲われた時はどうするのです。アサシンなどは気配なく標的に忍び寄ってくる。Yep, assassin. That's a good one to point out. 私が駆けつけるまでに、シロは自分を守れるのですか? I understand. I'll, fast, I'll follow my master's plan. What will you do when you're attacked by an enemy? Servants such as an assassin will close in without letting their presence become known. In such cases, will you be able to protect yourself until I arrive? Yeah, given how it went with Lancer, probably not. Getting killed in the sleep is a real thing, and their name is Assassin for a reason. I mean, maybe Assassin's Master wouldn't have to worry as much about, you know, sleeping in different rooms, but if you don't have Assassin, and if Assassin's still in the war, it's definitely a real concern beyond just, you know, people being sneaky in general. I mean, Assassin is like sneak incarnate. Uh, well, hmm. I can't claim I'll manage. Is uh, protecting your chastity more important than protecting your life? Is it more important to make sure you don't sleep in the room with a girl, which is ew cooties, than it is important to make sure you don't die in the Grail War? You gotta get your priorities straight, man. I was able to against Lancer, because he fucking let you and was toying with you, but that luck won't repeat itself. この屋敷には外的が侵入すると警報が鳴る結界が張ってある。襲撃は避けられないけど、奇襲なら do we have sex scene? Is this legal on YouTube? <clears throat> That'd be impossible. This house is a boundary field that alerts us if an enemy enters. We won't be able to avoid a raid, but we should be able to detect a surprise attack. In that case, you'd be able to protect him before he was attacked. So you can just go ahead and stay in a room you like. <laughs> uh, and you're the one bringing this up instead of Shiro. I mean, yeah, we have a boundary field, but like... Assassin is a servant. Aren't servants like super special awesome? Wouldn't the assassin servant be good at this kind of thing? Like invading without triggering the boundary field? Couldn't they potentially have that potential? Shouldn't you be thinking of that as a potential thing that may happen? Even if you, to your understanding, that isn't a thing that can happen. Maybe it's like their noble phantasm is ignore boundary fields. It's not impossible for an assassin. I could see it. So I don't know. I feel like you're being a little too cocky. Granted, it's not uh, you that this is concerning, it's Shiro, but it's just your husband, though. That's certainly true, but... How about next to Shiro's room? You're fine if she's not in your room, right, Emiya-kun? <laughs> Maybe you two can sleep together in the same room next to me so that Rin can't come and assassinate me in the night. Oh, she pronounces the Emiya-kun ostensibly. Interesting. Also, she went over to say Emiya-kun. This time I took note of it. Although, that's because they took note of it. Uh, interesting. How about a room next to Shiro's room? Okay, interesting. So they're going out of their way. How about next to Shiro's room? You're fine if she's not in your room, right, Emiya-kun? Why did she switch? Why did Rin switch? Interesting. Is there th She probably did that purposely for a point. Tosaka. So you know, kiben te yun That's just a... Sophistry, you know. Uh, 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 yeah, sophistry, of course. Uh, uh, hold on. Sophistry. 
Google. Sophistry, the use of fallacious arguments, especially with the intention of deceiving. A fallacious argument. So anyways, about uh, sophistry, which I know the meaning of. Um, I've, I've known the meaning of it for at least five seconds. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Fallacious. Uh, I'm definitely totally not looking up these words. Based on a mistaken belief. Okay, based on a mistaken belief. Now go back to sophistry. Sophistry. The use of being based on a mistaken belief argument, especially with the intention of deceiving. So she is attempting to deceive someone. I understand, I think. I think I know how words work. Heh. <laughs> You're fine if she's not in your room, Emiya Kun. She pronounces the Emiya Kun ostentatiously. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Austin Tate. I'm just kidding. I know what that means. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look it up just to be safe. In a previous or showy way designed to impress. I, I sort of gathered, but yeah. I think I knew that at one point. I mean, I definitely am not looking everything up. I know all of these words off the top of my head. She pronounces the Emiya Kun ostentatiously. Okay, so she went out of her way to be fancy. Gotcha. That's just sophistry. Which part? Use that in a sentence. Oh, that is the sentence. That's just sophistry. Use it in another sentence. <laughs> Thanks, Google, tra Google Dictionary. Uh, what is a Google? It's a sound argument because I'm making it for your sake. Well, which room should you choose? Should, should I choose? Oh, oh, should I choose? <laughs> okay, now you're getting all kinds of playful. Nice. Uh, uh, the way she said that was great. Which room should I choose? <laughs> uh, because now you know how Shiro get, nervous Shiro gets and you're trying to get under his skin. But also, really, it, because it gets under your skin. But you want to be getting under your skin. Sophistry. <laughs> uh, hold on, I, I'm actually confused. Which part is the sophistry exactly? Is This is the, the argument that is sophistry? So you can just go ahead and stay in a room you like. Because you actually want to be in my room. Is that the sophistry? But no, there's no way Shiro would catch on to that. He's he's dense to romance. I don't know. I give up. I I, 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 I admit defeat to the sophistry. I don't understand the meaning in this context. <clears throat> Tosaka walks to the house with her bag, as if telling us the conversation is over. Oh, she's going to choose her room, huh? Is she going to go out her way to choose the room right next to mine so that I can't? So that she can't? So that Saber has to be two rooms over? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. She looks cheerful like a student picking her room on a field trip. <laughs> she really enjoys this. I think there's multiple layers behind her enjoyment. A, I think she wants my penis. But B, I think she's just excited to have a friend who she can talk with about magic. But like... She's ignoring the whole Grail War thing and that we're going to be fighting. She just likes that she has a friend she can talk with about magic that she can be completely open with and doesn't have to hide herself from because she feels like she has to hide from the world that isn't magic. To be fair, when Rin and... God, why do I keep confusing their names? When Sakura and, um, and Fujimura show up, she's still going to have to go back to hiding herself. So it'll be interesting to see how she acts in front of them. But uh, will she literally hide herself? Or only figuratively? <laughs> but... Um, It'll be interesting to see how she how re she reacts when Sakura and Fujimura are around. And ellipses. Has Saber also been bested by Rin's sophistry? Sakura sophist. Nope, it is Rin. I said Rin right the first time. Why am I confusing their names? Ah! For some reason, I say Rin, and Sakura's head pops into my mind. Why is that happening? What did you do? What did who do? Who is the you? You know who you are. You know what you did. Inu Han Yu! <gasps> <sighs> Good water. Rin's the red one. Sakura's the blue one. Rin's the red one. Hold on. This is Rin. This is Sakura. This is Rin. This is Sakura. 
Rin, Sakra, Rin, Sakra, Rin, Sakra, Rin, Sakra, Rin, Sakra, Rin, Sakra. Okay, let's keep, keep going. Dash, dash, dash. Astounding. Her actions are so selfish, we just see her off with blank amazement. <laughs> I wouldn't call them selfish. To be selfish, she has to purposely being selfish, I feel like. Uh, I feel like if you're not being selfish on purpose, I wouldn't really call it selfish. I would call it something else. Guess who's late? Late again. Tom's Tom's late. I'm going later than usual today, actually. So, um, you're actually just in time to see maybe an hour more. Probably go for another hour or so. We return to the main building. First of all, I should show her around the house. Uh, Sakura is purple. Gosh, your phone typing, it's showing. Uh, Sakura is purple. Uh, I think of her as more blue, like red oni, blue oni. Let me take a look. I mean, yeah, she's kind of purple, but Shinji is blue, so I think of them as like the blue family. The Matos are the blues. Don't be blue. First of all, I should show her around the house so she can choose her own room. <laughs> This is, Jap Cough. this is the Japanese style room. The backside has common rooms like the living room and the bathroom. And if you follow the open corridor to the out to the outbuilding, the outbuilding? You pronounce it outbuilding? <clears throat> the Japanese style room. The backside has common rooms like the living room and the bathroom. And if you follow the open corridor to the outbuilding, you reach the guest room. Looks like Tosaka went that way. Okay, so she's going to the guest rooms with the outbuilding. Hold on. I've got to process all of the words. I'm not processing them. Ugh. I slapped myself. Sakura, Rin, Sakura, Rin. What? Oh. Sakura, Tosaka. Nope. Rin, Mato. Nope. The backside has common rooms like a living room and the pee, the pee room, the pee pee room, the toilet, the water closet, as they would say in Japan. Follow the corridor to the outbuilding. The outbuilding, that's just such a weird word for me. I explain as I walk. Saber follows me silently without nodding. Ugh, I gotta change my seating position. I'm not sure if she's listening or not. <laughs> you start calling me Shiro. Wait, have you always been calling me Shiro? I forget. <clears throat> I'm just picking up on that now because of the whole Rin thing. The map of the house is fine. Where is Shiro's room? Why would you say it like that? I mean, I would know why you'd say that like that in Japanese, but why would you why would you translate it like that that um, in in English? It should be where is your room, even if they said where is Shiro's room in Japanese, because saying the word you is generally disrespectful, as I think I've talked about before. In basically all forms, you're generally being disrespectful to some extent when you use. There are several words for you, but this is... My room is this way. It's somewhat back there. Then please guide me that way. I must talk to you privately. Privately? Ooh. You mean away from Rin's prying ears? Oh, about my real identity? Because we... Your real identity? Because we still haven't gotten into that? Talk to me privately? So she doesn't want Tosaka to hear it? Well, she probably doesn't want Tosaka in this temporary alliance to know um, Saber's real identity. Tosaka is in the outbuilding, so I think this place is okay. In the outbuilding? Like, isn't that the jo dojo? But she left the dojo. Or is there the dojo, then this building, then the outbuilding? What is this outbuilding? Can we see, can we see the outbuilding? I don't think I've seen it yet. Um, Cause the fan subs know we are weebs who know. Huh? I'm confused. What are you saying, Inuhanyu? I'm trying to follow. Because the FSN Fate Stay Night subs... Subs? Which subs? My subscribers? I don't think I have subscribers yet. Not an affiliate. Not quite yet. <clears throat> Only about a dozen more uh, followers to go, though. Um, the FSN subs know we are weebs. Who know? Who's weebs? Are you calling me a weeb? Look, I may be a proud nerd and a geek and o otaku. But I am no web 
Todd Weber? Who's Todd Weber? Uh, the name just came into my head. Anyways, Tosaka's in the L building, so I think this place is okay, but she is a master after all. <clears throat> as long as Archer's not here. Archer, wait, well, no, Archer has good eyesight, not good hearing. Well, the servants probably all have good hearing to some extent. Someone could overhear us, so the open corridor is no place to talk secretly. Indeed. Here, this is my room. What? This is Shiro's room? Are you being that informal in, in, in Japanese even? That you're like the equivalent of calling someone by, like, the equivalent of calling someone by their name, like, this is Shiro's room. Are you really doing that? It just seems like weird because in English like I'm right here you wouldn't be saying that in English so I'm wondering if she's saying something in Japanese that would equivalize equivalize is that a word uh hold on uh hold on equivalize equi equival equi equival equi nope equivalize oh I think equivalize is a word equivalization Equivalize is a technique in wait in technique in economics which members of a household receive different weighting. Anyways, equivalize is a word confirmed. Or maybe she's talking to herself. Oh, by calling. You know, uh, I could see that. Um, that's awkward though, cause I'm right here. At least talk to yourself in your head if you're gonna talk to yourself. Rude. Huh? <laughs> Saber surprised the moment she walks in. What she was expecting something grander. I don't think there's anything here that should be too surprising. <laughs> no, there is nothing here to surprise me. As there is nothing here. Is this really a room, Shiro? You don't even sleep on a bed, you just have a cushion? You just lie on the floor and sleep on a cushion? Yeah, there's no point lying to you. I only come here to sleep, so it's natural there's nothing here. I mean, I don't even come here to sleep all the time. Sometimes I just do that in the shed. So I see. I was surprised. I thought you were a more assorted person. Huh? Assorted person. Assorted. Of various sorts. Well, I know that. What's an assorted person, Google? Google. Siri. Assorted. Consisting of different or various kinds. Missile. Oh, okay. I think I understand. So, like, they're saying... Okay, so Saber's like, I thought you were a more assorted person. Oh, so you thought that he was someone who was into various things? Why would you think that? He's very blunt. What guy gave you the impression that he was into various things? Is it because he has various tastes in women? Not that you know that yet, because I don't think you've seen Sakura. I said it right this time. Or Fujimura. You have seen Rin, though. Aha! Saber enters the Japanese style room and touches the wall to check the feel of it. It's a soft gesture, as if she understands the object's memory just by touching it. It's memory? Okay. <laughs> I'm relieved. This is a desolate room, but that does not mean it's treated badly. This is a simple but warm place. What, you're like feeling the, the history of it? Can you feel how things have been through the ages? Some kind of weird... Is that related to your sixth sense of seeing the future? Can you also see the past a little bit? Um, uh, <laughs> father always said you took the good room and is Saber going to react at all to the father? No, I think we've mentioned Kiritsugu before or we mentioned our name Emiya and she hasn't reacted. Is she going to ask where your father is yet? Like at some point, is she going to ask? Is she all ever going to bring it up? Maybe it's not her place as a servant to bring it up. I don't know. A warm? Well, I guess so. I don't know if it's how the house is built, but this place is cool. Um... We could make it warmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's thinking with your penis. <clears throat> I 
I guess so. I don't know if it's how the house was built, but this place is cool during the summer and warm during the winter. That is weird. Father always uh, said I took the good room. The fan suburbs of this game mirror... Whoa. The fan suburbs of this game mirror moon. Know the players are weebs who know Japanese way of speaking in third person. Like how they don't translate itadakimasu. Ah. How do you know I'm a weeb? Maybe you don't know that. Hold on. Weeb. What is a weeb? A weeb is a derisive term for a non-Japanese person who is obsessed with Japanese culture that they wish were actually Japanese. <laughs> Rude. Weeb is a radio station licensed to Southern Pines, North Carolina, broadcasting a news talk format. The station is currently owned by Pinehurst Broadcasting Corp. How dare you say I'm owned by Pine Horse Broadcasting Corp. I'm not a sellout. I don't sell out to the man. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Yes, the room is a reflection of its owner, so I was worried about your spirit, but this will not change my impression of you now. It's okay. You're fine. You're doing pretty good. Even if it's a shitty room, you're doing good with it. <laughs> what? Saber says this with relief, but I don't understand what she wants to say. Yeah, I know that the fan subbers definitely left things like Itadakimasu in on purpose because I guess it's hard to translate it and most people will know. That's true, but like... But like... I don't know, the whole thing of third person way of speaking, I feel like if they're gonna go that far, then why would they say last name? Why wouldn't they say family name triggered? I, that still triggers me. The fact that they say last name, but then put the names go last first, and they don't even call it family name, that freaking triggers me. Like, you gotta do one or the other. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Anyways, Saber says this with relief, but I don't understand what she wants to say. Like, I feel like if they're gonna do that, why not do that all the time? I don't know, there's some, been, been some things. There have been some things that um, that have felt like, oh yeah, this is because you know they know that we're weebs or or whatever. But there's been other times where it's like, huh? Why they translate it that way? Don't they know we're weebs? So I feel like it goes back and forth. Maybe not everybody's weeby as me. Maybe not everyone knows so much Japanese as me. Oh. So what did you want to talk to me privately about? What did you want to talk to privately about? What did you want to talk private? Nope, that that's grammar good. I read it wrong. Two things. I have two things. Both are something I would like to keep a secret between us. Uh, okay. Are they the other two things I didn't talk about in the choice? Because we still haven't talked about your identity, and we also haven't talked about where you got those clothes. Where did you get those clothes? I assume we were just going to come up to everything eventually, but it has not happened, so... Where'd you get those freaking clothes? Oh yeah. Well, I don't mind if you say so, but tell me what it's about. I can't tell if it's something good or bad. Well, you'll know once she tells you what it's about. Oh. They're both bad. At the very least, it's something I don't want other masters finding out. Okay. I understand. Wakata. Naruhodo. Judging by expression, the bad thing must be our weakness. The weakness is you, Shiro. You suck! <clears throat> but also... I see. I see what you mean. I'll listen seriously, so go ahead. First First of all, I would like you to forgive me for not being able to accomplish the first obligation of a servant. Oh, I think Archer and Rin brought that up when they were talking. The first obligation is what? Revealing your identity? Uh, the first obligation of a servant? To tell you my identity. Have you not heard about it from Rin? Not yet. <laughs> Tell me your identity. Oh, you mean your real name. Right. Servants are heroic spirits. 
Their identities are, are heroes, famous in every age. Uh, no, because every age is a lot of them, and heroes have to sprout in a certain age, therefore they would not be in all ages. Contradiction! Igiati! They hide their identities and the scope of their power with their class name. A servant's real name is something that should be kept hidden. It's also something the master should know. Not must know, after all, Ren doesn't know uh, Archer's name, but I guess we don't know that. I mean, we the player know that, but Shiro doesn't know that. Because if one does not know which hero the servant is, he does not know the servant's powers. Or she. Oh, your phone internet's bad? Oh no. Darn. Um, am I dropping frames? Uh, I mean, I've dropped some over the course of this, but right now I'm not dropping. But, um, uh, hopefully you get your laptop fixed soon, you know, Anyways, uh, he does not know the servant's potential. Master and servant are one. They won't be able to fight fully if one keeps a secret from the other. Well, that's just how it would be if it were I were a normal master, but you're like a shitty poo-poo, not real, not good at all master, so. Even if I knew Saber's real name, I wouldn't be able to come up with an effective plan. Most of all, I don't care about it. <laughs> you just want to keep calling her Saber? If you know her real name, that makes you even closer to her. I mean, after all, you know, no, calling someone by their first name, their first real name is like bad and stuff. So, like, you know, if we call her Saber, then we don't have to worry about that. But if we call her real name, then uh-oh, hot and steamy. After all, we're still calling Rin Tosaka. Tosaka. Hmm. I'm good, but how's that? I'm fine with that, but why? That is what I believe is for the best. No matter how hard you try to hide my name, there are many ways to take the information from you. Oh, so you're saying you're not going to tell me just at all? Oh, so it is like a plot twist. Um, I was unsure. Okay. Heroes, famous in every age. Because you said, yeah. First of all, I would like to f you forgive me for not having done that. I see. So, you're not telling me because of my inexperience, or just because you think... Is it your strategy in general, or because of who I am? And what I'm made of, simple curiosities, da 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 da, -da. let me show you... Oh, I wouldn't mind if you showed me what you're made of. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's specific to me, me being a weenie, gotcha. Since your magic resistance is not high, mental intervention would be simple if the enemy was a superior magus, someone like Ilya. The enemy could use magic to reveal my true name against your will. Oh, I see. That's right. I'd give it right, right away if they used suggestion on me. It's a D&D &D spell. All right, keep it a secret in that case. <laughs> Don't suck the information on my brain. Uh, zombie! There's a zombie on your lawn. We don't want zombies on the lawn. So I can help you. Most of all, I'm not a person who is so calm-minded. If you compare to the Berserker, <laughs> yep, that's why we wear tinfoil on our heads. That's also nice D&D. &D. Uh, it helps me if you say that, but then I'm not someone that famous. Igiyadi? Objection? Is this an in-universe thing or just a Japanese thing? Is she not that famous in Japanese? Like, I don't want to say what spirit she is, because it seems like it's sort of a plot twist at this point. But, um... <clears throat> at the same time, as where I come from, she is, like, the most famous of the servants, I would say. Like, she's the one I knew the best from Fate Zero. And, I mean, I maybe know Hercules better because of Disney. But aside from that, like... It just seems odd to me, the idea that she's not well known. Helps me if you say that, but then I'm not someone that famous. I should be able to, I should be a few ranks below Berserker. It would not do too much even if my name were revealed. Like, maybe you'd be a rank or two below Berserker, I guess. Hercules is extremely famous, but I don't believe you. 
You're very well known. Saber mur uh, murmurs in regret. Maybe it's an in-universe thing. I don't know. Maybe in-universe, her lore isn't as well known as in real life. Or it's a Japanese thing. At least where I come from, in the West, her lore is extremely well known. That's a bit unexpected. Saber has some human characteristics, and she regrets being inferior to Berserker. Uh-huh. Isn't that alright? A trump is a trump because it's hidden. Your master is weak like this, so I understand that you have to try everything. Try everything! Uh-oh. <clears throat> too many singing. Too many bursting into too many songs. Um, <laughs> she regrets being inferior to Berserker. Is that related to your, your angsty relationship with Berserker and Fate Zero? <sighs> Berserker is just unfair. He's a cheater. Like, he's A in everything except luck. Luck is his weak stat and it's B and he's got A plus in strength. He's just a cheaty cheater. He also doesn't have a real alignment. Chaotic and sane? Like, you gotta pick neutral, evil, or good. I mean, come on. Hmm, this is your first time that you're really sort of coming to terms with how great she is. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, I feel like she's sort of known this all along and hasn't really been thinking about it, whereas you have been not, but are now. Anyways, there's nothing to be ashamed of, and from my point of view, you aren't inferior, just because you're shorter and a woman. <gasps> you had that big wound, yet you were exchanging blows straight on, and the fact that you almost won despite being a woman, I think, makes you better. Sexism. So <clears throat> this Oh, that's a cute face. You're right. I suffered defeat last night, but the result should be different once my wounds heal. Oh, because you've got a better sense of what he fights like now that now that you fought him once. Whereas Berserker is a mad hound, so you should get the upper hand next time you fight. Is that the idea? Right. Okay, then that's the end of the first matter. What's the second one about? Yes, about that. This probably is not something we can solve. Oh? What's... what's the problem? We servants maintain our bodies using the magical energy transfer from our masters. That's why servants require a master, but my magical energy is shit. Not the shit, just shit. So, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Oops, oopsie poopsie. I'm a master, so I don't have to use the magical energy to use the magical energy to use the magical energy to use the I'm an incompetent master, so I don't have magical energy for you to maintain your body. That's okay, we can borrow a third party's. That's what happened in Fate Zero. Kiritsugu's magic wasn't the greatest either, but... Who's a third party that's willing to participate, though? We're not really prepared for this. If Archer gets taken out, Rin could help us out. Eh, mm, no. If Archer gets taken out, Rin might try to steal Saber. It's not a problem if I receive... Even a small amount of magical energy from you, but I'm not receiving any magical energy from you. The spiritual connection we ought to have is not present. Oh, that's bad. Um, is that because, like, I have none of the spiritual connectors on my back or whatever? Do I have to go to my way to put the metaphorical lance into my bag or whatever to summon one of the magical circuits? Or is it because I didn't properly summon you? Maybe Ilya set it up that way on purpose when she set up that circle that I'm still assuming she set up, but I still have no proof, but it would just make sense. Dash, dash, dash. That means I, as the gasoline, I'm not sending any fuel for Saber to work as an engine. Gosh dang it. Saber, that's... Saber's Oh, hello. Thanks, Skylight778, for following. Um, hi there. I haven't gotten a follower while playing Fate in quite a while. That's nice. While streaming. 
Nice, most of my fate followers come over from YouTube or something. Um, <clears throat> also, what? Uh, but by your theory, why would Elia, who wanted a fair fight, sabotage the circle? Huh. Um, because she wants to make Shiro suffer. Like, uh, th I have multiple theory. I don't really ever put myself on one theory and think that that has to happen. I do think it's pretty likely Ilya set it up, but beyond that, the specifics of it really depend on Ilya's character. She seems to, so far from the bad ending of Gotten, wants to really enjoy Shiro's suffering. So, I could see her, I could see her setting up a bad circle on purpose, a gimped circle to really fuck with Shiro so that he slowly melts into an abyss of terribleness because she wants him to suffer and that's one way to make him suffer. Like, is it more about beating him because she wants to beat him or is it more about making him suffer? Which is more important, I'm not entirely sure. And depending on the answer, if, if it is beating him that's more important and beating him in a fair fight, then yeah, she wouldn't have done that. But if she cares more about making him suffer than she does beating him in a fair fight, then she might have done that. It's not your fault. I believe something happened during my summoning. Some fault occurred and the line that should have connected was not connected. Something happened during my summoning. Is it because he didn't have a proper magical connection set up when he summoned you? Or is it because of the bad circle? Or is it because he didn't do it purposely and so didn't do it correctly and therefore summoned you in some weird way? Some problem during the summoning? When Saber appeared, it wasn't anything like a summoning. It was just an accident. Since she was summoned like that, it'd be strange if there weren't anything wrong with her. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't think it's that strange, actually, as Rin, who thought she was doing everything right. That's weird. You thought you were doing nothing, and then ended up doing something completely right by getting Saber, the best servant. Um, whereas Rin thought she was doing everything right, but then fucked up at the, with the whole time thing, and so got her servant summoned even to the wrong room. At least your servant was summoned right there, instead of, you know, in your house or something where she wouldn't have been able to save you immediately. Uh, so are we actually going to get into this in our circle? And are we going to investigate our circle? Because we haven't done that yet. Hold on, then what's going to happen? Since you can't replenish your magical energy, will you disappear? Yes. Yes, if I use up the magical energy I have, I'll not be able to stay in this world. That's bad. What do we do about that? <laughs> Gimped. I battled three times already since my summoning. Ooh, we dropping? Are we dropping? I was dropping. Gosh, Twitch Inspector always behind the times. Um, but now I guess I'm okay. Just dropping for a second, though. Uh, anyways, uh, I've battled three times already since my summoning. My healing ability is, is a regeneration magic. So magical energy assumption will... Consumption. Assumption. Consumption. Consumption will increase if I take damage. Let me see. I used about 10 mature magies worth of magical energy last night. And how many mature magical energies worth do you have left? I get that you're a servant with a bunch of magic, but like, at what point does the well run dry? How many magic... How many mature magies worth do you have? I mean, I'm not even half a mature magi. I'm probably like a tenth of mature magi. So like, that's a lot of magical energy. Dash, dash, dash. I'm astonished. My magical energy is reduced every time she fights and there's no way to restore it. That's bad. So yeah, that's very bad. If she already used up that much magical energy, how much longer can she stay in this world? I should know the answer to that question. Please tell me, Saber. Do you, do you understand, Master? Uh, I don't know. Could I think I'll understand better if you tell me how much you have left. So we know how imperative this is. Do you have like 90 Masters worth of magic left? Because that's still pretty decent. That's much better than if you have, say, only 10 more magis worth. Because if you've used up half of your magic, that's bad. If you used up like a tenth, maybe we can work with that. Uh, 
Just try to use my magical energy as little as possible. If no magical energy is provided, I must sleep and suppress my magical energy usage. Oh, so normally servants probably don't have to sleep because of the magical energy intake, but uh, maybe you'll have to sleep, which means we will get a servant that's... So if we're going to be in the same... Which we aren't, but if eventually we be in the same room and you do sleep, then I could see you sleep! <gasps> which, you know, I mean, it's fair perversion, right? You wanted to see me sleep while you were protecting me. Now I get to see you sleep in this theoretical scenario where you saw me sleep in your head, though it didn't happen. But if it did happen... Payback's a... A boner? <clears throat> sleep? Will your magical energy replenish if you sleep? A <laughs> long rest? Does it all come back? Do you get all your spell slots back? I do not know, but at the very least, I will not consume any magical energy while I'm asleep. So you won't go down, but you might not go up either. <laughs> Give him the sleeping pill. Gotta try your best. Uh, at least do some sleeping. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never slept before. How does sleeping work? Am I doing this right? Am I supposed to be snoring? <laughs> do you understand the mechanics of sleep properly? I wish for you to allow me to sleep as much as possible, like 16 hours a day. That's a little unhealthy, but I, well, maybe not for a servant because your magic doesn't go down. It only goes down when you're awake. So how often do you want to be sleeping? I mean, were you sleeping when you were meditating earlier? Was that meditating or was that sleeping in the dojo? Was that like sleeping or, you know, sleeping, but only kneel, kneeling sleeping? Does that still not consume energy if you're sleeping while you kneel? That's that's an impressive sleep form, by the way. Sleep pose. It'll make someone think you're just meditating, but you're actually sleeping. Um, it's actually rather crafty, if that is something you set up. Uh, I will not be able to constantly protect you, but I would like you to understand this is a measure necessary for us to win. Interesting! So you were batting hard to sleep in the same room as Shiro in front of Rin, but was that just a cover? Because in reality, you have to sleep a lot too? Or maybe when Shiro's asleep is the main time, you'll be awake, whereas the rest of the time you'll generally be sleeping? Is that the plan? Maybe. <sighs> In which case, maybe that's even more reason we should sleep together, so I can watch over her. When I'm when I'm awake, she can be sleeping, and I can be watching her, and then when I'm asleep, she can be watching me. That way we get to protect both of our backs. If we're in separate rooms, then when she's sleeping and no one's watching her, someone could sneak up at her at night. Which, you know, isn't as bad as someone sneaking up at Shiro at night, but, you know. I sigh with relief. Thank God, if that's all it is, I'll accept all she wants. Accept what part? Oh, you mean sleeping in the same room? Which part? Which part are you accepting? Sleep 20 hours a day and she won't, uh, she won't barely be in the game. Be in the game. Um, uh, Saber. She's in the game. EA joke. Eh. It's okay, I only need four hours. After all, there's only, what, six servants? I only need one hour for each. I can sleep 18 hours and then beat the other. One hour for each. It's easy. Of course it's all right. You can rest when you get tired. If that allows you to stay longer, that's so much better. After all, I want you to stay longer, right? Hubba hubba. <clears throat> Then I will sleep often from now on, so please do not leave the house while I am doing so. Ooh, what about going to school and stuff? If you're attacked somewhere from far from here, I'll not be able to come and protect you immediately. Indeed. Are you going to be like a, an awkward transfer student at our school? Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> this is Saber, the transfer student. You probably will actually... You'll, you won't call yourself Saber, of course. You'll make up some name, but the, I'm guessing that's where this is going. <laughs> to add to the high school drama. Uh, she exists only to fight as a Pokemans. I mean, sort of, but like... The Pokemon joke works more if she's in spirit form, because it's like her being in her Pokeball. Her sleeping... It's sort of like Pikachu sleeping not in the Pokeball. It's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm Ash Ketchum, and it's like, if you're going to sleep, go in the fucking Pokeball. To be fair, going in the Pokeball uses up my energy, so it's kind of backwards. 
空間を跳躍するなら話は別ですがそんな能力を持つサーバントはまれです。It'd be a different story if I could leap through space, but servants such an ability are rare. So even though Saber is the best servant, she doesn't have that ability. Wow, rip, shame. もし離れた場所で私を呼ぶのなら、レイジのバックアップが必要になります。ですから、できるだけ私から離れないようにしてほしい。To call me from a distant place would require backup from the command spell, so I'd like for you to try to stay near me. Makes sense. How, what, what's that going to do with school? Maybe you can sleep whenever we're not at school? Because you're going to have to come to school with me, right? Shiro's not going to. Okay, a couple things. First of all, Shiro's the kind of person that doesn't want to disrupt his ordinary life for the sake of the Grail War. He probably wouldn't even think of not going to school. But second of all,、um, it would be weird if he all of a sudden didn't come to school. If there's any other masters hiding at school, which is reason to believe so because of Lancer and the thing at school, Then、um, the, the, the blood circle that's going to suck everyone's souls out or whatever, if that's still going on, I think it's still going on.、Um, because of those, there's reason to believe there's other masters at school. If I suddenly started not coming to school, that could tip off other masters. So there's reason for me to come to school. But if Saber came to school with me, even if she pretended to be someone else, I feel like someone could have noticed that. And hell, Lancer probably described to his master what Saber looks like, so eh, it'd be iffy. If we did go to school, you'd have to not be with me, but that would be iffy. You'd have to like awkwardly be with me, but without really being with me. School is just a whole can of worms. Probably the best scenario is just not go to school. But I don't know. That seems like something Shiro probably won't go for. I mean, maybe. But if he doesn't get to go to school, he doesn't get to see his best friend Shinji. His best friend in the whole wide world. He won't get to see his best friend Shinji. Then again, he already has to lie about why Rin is here. He's got to make up some lie to Sakura and.、Um, Uh, Fujimura about why Rin is here, so maybe they can extend that lie to a reason why Shiro has to stay home from school for a while. Like they're doing some weird activity. I mean, they are, but you know, weird that they could explain with a lie.、Uh, so kawaii to have her go to school.、Um, I'm assuming she will be going to school. Are you saying she's not? Is that a spoiler? Enjoy your school life, even in a life or death battle like Persona. <laughs> yep, I mean, <laughs> our house. In the middle of school life. <clears throat> <clears throat> as much as I'd like to do that, I can't nod. Wait, which part of you can't nod? I was completely ignoring for a long time. What are we talking about? What activity? Choir backup. Okay. Oh, is that a problem because of school? Is that what's actually about to be brought up? I can't imagine living with Saber, and I have my own life as well. Oh, yep, you have your own life. You can't disrupt your own life for the Grail War. I mean, gosh, the Grail War has to take a back seat, right? You have other waifus to take care of, like Neko chan! I'll try, but are you sure that's alright? If you sleep, you. このようなことはなかったので断言はできませんが、前回も総戦闘数は7回に満たなかった。あ、oh, you brought up the last battle。サーバントはサーバントによって減っていくのですから。It should not be a problem. I cannot be certain since this has never happened to me. But I did not fight even seven times last time. You mean in Fate Zero? Even if I do not defeat them, other servants defeat other servants. So yeah, we could do one of those sneaky, sneaky coward things where we wait till the others take each other out. Uh, but again, Berserker's gonna make that a problem.、Um, you didn't fight even seven times like last time. Let me see. I- I'm trying to think if that's true based on my knowledge of Fate Zero. My memory is kind of vague, but let me.、Uh, there was that time. Oh, and then you can't forget that time where that happened.、Um, and then there was that time again. And then there was definitely that time. And that sort of was that time. I can think of at least five times she fought off the top of my head. There might be more I'm forgetting. There probably is. It might only be about five or six times. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> Neko chan's second best waifu? Oh, okay. So, I mean, Saber is your favorite, but Neko chan, anyone who likes Neko chan can't be a bad person.、Uh, what, what was that from? Anyone who likes X can't be a bad person. I mean, I know they've probably said that in a few different places in Animu and video games. I'm just trying to remember which specific instance I'm thinking of. Anyone who likes. Oh, I'm thinking of Bugs and, and Gonta from Danganronpa. Anyone who likes Bugs can't be a bad person. Anyone who likes cats, Neko chan, can't be a bad person. 
Neko Chan, don't you lie, wise fool. Neko Chan's not in the race. You can fight you. Yeah, of course she's not in the race because she automatically wins by default. A cat girl, unless there are other cat girls to compete with, will always automatically win by default. Grumble, grumble. <sighs> I see, so not everyone has to fight all the other servants. Uh, if all goes well, we can end this war pretty easily. Uh, uh, but if you're not fighting other servants, that means probably other servants fighting each other and masters are killing each other. Also, even if that's not how it happened in Fate Zero, I can guarantee this wouldn't be a visual novel from the point of view of Shiro if we didn't encounter each of the other master-servant combos at least once, so we're probably going to end up fighting all of them to some extent. The only people I'm going to fight are those with inhuman attitudes. Uh, what if that's all of them? Rin already seems kind of weird with the fact that she doesn't have any wish, so she seems a little inhuman. So, I mean, inhuman-ish. Inhuman-ish. Um, maybe not inhuman in the sense... I guess everyone has different perspective of what different words mean. I guess what you mean is someone who is evil. Evil! Barnacle boy! At the ready! We have evil! I'm sure that not all the Seven Masters are like that. Only most of them. Tosaka's ready to fight, but she would follow the rules of the Magi. The five remaining Masters, if they all have humane attitudes, I won't have to fight. But... What about, okay, first of all, of the remaining five, you know one of them's Ilya, right? Are you going to still try to persuade her with your penis? I mean, I'm up for that. But realistically, in-universe, I would think she's a crazy craze bitch and would probably, you know, be like, I'll fight you, bitch. It's only because I have the perspective of a player who's not actually in-game that I can think that that's hot. <clears throat> what? Saber uh, said she didn't even fight seven times last time, so this time, he'll fight way more. I'm, especially if we count all the different pathways. On it. Oh, now you're, you're thinking more about the last time. I mean, she already mentioned the last time earlier, but she didn't really call it last time, so... Hold on. Even fight seven times last time? Yeah, she mentioned that this wasn't the first time she was here. Did you forget about that convenient detail? Or was it too vague for you to catch on? Hold on, Saber. Oh, uh, was it Saber 2 last time? No, I mean, were you in the last Holy Grail War as well? This is the second time I've participated in the Holy Grail War. Okay, I was unsure of that. I feel like I sort of kind of thought that, but I was unsure. Which means the first three Holy Grail Wars had different Sabers who also made it to the finals. I think it's just confirmation bias because it's a very small sample size. I think it just happened that the Sabers made it that far, but... Uh, I'm interested, I, I'd be interested to see what other sabers look like, because it seems like this saber is the poster child that gets, you know, thrown around everywhere in all the media. Um, so I'd be interested to see what other sabers look like at some point. I'm sure I will, but for now, we just got our waifu saber. saber. <clears throat> I was Saber too at that time. There are heroic spirits that attribute to several classes, but I only correspond to the class of Saber. Well, I mean, is it good to correspond to multiple classes, especially if Saber is the best? <clears throat> um, and yeah, Berserker apparently fits everything but Caster, so... Um, does fitting multiple make you better, though? That could just make you Jack of all trains, Master of None. Which is not true for Berserker, clearly, because he's like Jack of everything. He's best everything, except for Luck, which is a weak point, which is four out of five! And he has strength six out of five. <clears throat> dash, dash, dash. Tosaka mentioned that out of the seven, Saber is the most powerful servant. Confirmation bias. Sample size of four. That's not much. I don't believe it. Berserker seems way better. And this girl's saying she has become that twice in a row, which means she definitely made it to the finals last time, which is true. But she lost like a damn loser. <clears throat> El <laughs> Elahu has a her. <clears throat> then did you remain until the end last time? Indeed. Murondes. 
Of course. I had no constraints last time. Except your morality, you know, wanting to be super honorable. So I did not fall to any servants. Eh, sort of. That's sort of true. Not entirely, though. Saber says this as if it's just something natural. That makes me realize even more. I have been given a sword I do not deserve. Magic change! Then you must be full of complaints with someone like me as your master. Well, there's also this whole thing of how her last master was your father, which she's not saying at all. Maybe she doesn't want to be things awkward. Um, uh huh. I have no, I had no constraints last time. If anything, you had, you had reverse of no constraints because you had like a duo. You had like your master, but then you also had um. What's her face to supply super mana into you? So you're kind of like a double whammy or a triple whammy. Normally master servant duos are double whammies, but last time you were a triple whammy. But this time you're like a single whammy because even Shiro's kind of shit. I only fulfill the duties given to me. If I can obtain the Holy Grail, I have no complaints about my master. In that case, you may have some complaints about your last master. <laughs> Although, I think you had some complaints about him even before that point. I mean, with the whole honor thing, maybe there wasn't canon, but um, I like to think that you grew into this based on that and are more, more, a little more cold this time than you were that time, partially because of your experiences with Kiritsugu. Um, and now you're more, I don't know, because you had such rough experiences with Kiritsuki to start out with, now you're more open. I don't know if it helps or hurts that Shiro has the name Emiya in this situation, but... <sighs> I see, that's a relief, but still... She was flawless last time, but she has already suffered two wounds this time. Okay, she was not flawless. First of all, she didn't win. If she did, she wouldn't be here again, I don't think. <laughs> oh. In her condition, unable to replenish magical energy, she always has to think about her remaining magical energy. The result of a battle with such a burden was... Oh, keep seeing that picture. Keep seeing that. <laughs> the wound that launched a thousand Inuhanyus. That image of her covered in blood. Dash, 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 dash. That image is engraved in my mind. The image of a girl smaller than me covered miserably in blood. And her invisible sword a little bit too. We get to see a little bit of an outline. Nice. Shiro, Shiro such regret is useless. Mudada. Eh? <laughs> Saber's voice brings me back. It's not as if I suffered no defeat. Uh-huh. And spoilers, they just... They just spoiled the final outcome of Fate Zero. Gosh, they spoiled the winner. Well, not entirely, but once you get to the final two, then you would know, but... I get it, you're supposed to go into Fate Zero with that mindset, but I've talked about this before. I think there's merit to both approaches. Um, there's no right way, I don't think. It really all just, um... You're gonna do it one way, and then the other one is gonna be spoiled to some extent. But, um... It, it all comes down to your taste. But you can never really know in advance. Because, um... Like, it, you could be someone who prefers Fate Zero without knowing the details from Fate's Day Night. You could be someone who prefers Fate's Day Night without knowing the details from Fate Zero. And there's really no way to know until you jump in and do both. And even then you might not know, because it's never possible to do both completely unspoiled. Therefore, you can't have the raw impressions of both and to be able to decide which you prefer unspoiled. All you can do is assume how you might have experienced it had you not known. Ugh. <sighs> Did you know Darth Vader was Anakin Skywalker? SPOILERS! Oh my gosh! Freaking number Star Wars 9 is coming out soon. You know, that's relevant. Not everybody- 
that, that's funny. It's funny that that's such a well-known um, plot twist at this point because at the time that was a huge secret. Like even the cast didn't know. It's kind of funny how how it can turn around like that. Like uh, uh, Mark Hamill was even given incorrect lines. Like he w he was he was given a wrong line, and on the day of he was said, "This is your new line today. You're supposed to say he's your father." When you, you were gonna like his actual line that he was gonna read is like, "You killed my father," or I don't know something. And so, like, the only people that knew were the actor that played Darth Vader and, uh, I think a couple people that were having to work on the set. And that was it. And so the fact that it's so well known now, like, it's, it's just such an interesting inversion paradox. But, um, Star Wars 1 through 3 is a prequel to 4 to 6? <laughs> the only Star Wars that matters is Clone Wars. You mean the Clone Wars movie or the Clone Wars show or... Point was that the prequels were made with the whole journey of Anakin becoming dark with Darth Vader. Yeah, I get it. So you were meant to experience that having not seen it. But like, it can birth work both ways. And that's always the issue that comes up whenever you make a prequel. Whenever you make a prequel to anything, there's always the thing of, oh, you're supposed to watch it first. But what if someone can enjoy it better if they don't watch it first? It's always, it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting dilemma. <clears throat> I am your servant now because I did not fully win. I am used to taking wounds, so it's not something you should mourn over. It's an interesting um, thought debate, or, or thought analysis, like just storytelling analysis debate in general is in with an example where a prequel exists, should you always do it in the order they were released? Is there ever any merit to watching the prequel first um, so that you're not spoiled by certain things? Um, it, it really depends. I somewhat disliked Fate Zero in the first place, so I'm very biased. Now, are you someone who had already seen Fate Stay Night when you saw Fate Zero, or were you someone like me who saw it without seeing anything Fate? I saw Fate Zero first. I mean, this is my second Fate thing I'm seeing. The first thing was Fate Zero. I freaking love Fate Zero. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't have the perspective of someone who's already seen Stay Night. Uh, I, I had the perspective of, of a complete noob. So, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's hard. I'll never know what that's like. Even if I go back and watch uh, Fate Zero after experiencing this, it won't quite be the same. Anyways, it's not something you should mourn over. Used to? You're used to it? Even wounds close to fatal? I mean, she's a fighter. Even her life, she was probably close to it. Uh, I watched Fate Zero first, then Fate Stay Night... UBW second, then read the VN. Okay, I'm trying to wrap my head around the words coming into your mouth. V Fate's Day UBW? Which one is that? Is that the new anime or the old anime? Then read the VN. Which one's UBW? I don't know. Remind me which one. Um, so you watched... Okay. So you did watch Zero Versed. Okay. New anime. You watched the new anime. Interesting. I was thinking about doing that, but held off because of Let's Plays. If I wasn't a Let's Player, I likely would have done exactly that. But I, uh, I wanted to Let's Play the visual novel, so that's why I held off on watching the new anime when it came out, and instead I'm doing this. But um, I watched Fate's Day, uh, Fate's Day Night 06 first and read the VN. Mm. I watched Fate Stay Night Dean, that's the old one I think, then forgot everything about it because it was crap. <laughs> Years later, watched Zero, then, okay. So you watch the old, then the Zero, then the new. Mm. Okay, yeah, there's many ways to get into Fate, clearly. You can get into it with the visual novel, with the old anime, with the new anime, with the Zero anime. Now there's like Grand Order and there's a few others on Netflix. There's so many ways to jump into it. Um... Oh, so UBW is 2014, Dean is 2016. Okay, I'm learning my Fate lore. Was turned off from the Fate universe for a while due to Fate Zero. Then some friends bugged me until I watched the new show. Really? Really? I am I am the opposite. Uh, I freaking loved Fate Zero, but I didn't really want to get into Fate Stay Night because... At first, the reason I held off so long was because I didn't want to do a whole visual novel that sounded like... Uh, for, for one thing, at the time, I'd never done visual novels, and for another thing, um, it, at the time, it sounded too weeby for me, visual novels, and I'd heard the anime adaptation was bad, so I just didn't bother, and just left it at Fate Zero at the time, but, um, that's interesting. I rather, re I really like Fate Zero, but I, I, I get it, there's taste. Um, I like Fate Stay Night Dean 2006, it had its good points. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just know the popular consensus at the time was that Dean, Dean's anime was really bad, and that's why I just didn't bother watching it. If it was good, I was gonna go and watch it, because I liked Zero a lot, but from what I heard, it was bad, and I'm like, oh, maybe I just won't bother. Um, anyways. <clears throat> so, uh, back to the game, maybe? Or do we stop here? This is a round where I sort of want to stop. I mean, we're kind of talking about random bullshit. Maybe I should just stop here. Uh, let's get a little bit further. Try to get to a beat. I want to get to a beat before I stop. Even wounds close to fatal? Yes. Yes, to wield a sword means to take injury as well. That should be the same for you. There's no reason for me to avoid harm. That's true, but are you saying that you don't mind getting hurt? I don't think it's that she doesn't mind, it's just that it's an inevitability that you have to accept. If it does not result in death, if I die, I will not be able to protect my master. If it does not result in death, as long as you don't die, you can bear it, because you'll be able to result... Okay, I understand. So you're saying you don't mind getting hurt to protect your master? Hey, that's the opposite. Shiro probably would say that he doesn't mind getting hurt to protect the female persuasion. Whereas uh, Saber just would protect the master, which really makes more sense than Shiro's mindset. Eh, depends on your, your, your perspective, I guess. Yep, that's the role of the servant. But it's the role of the male gender to protect the female gender. Therefore, we are at odds. Paradox. <laughs> Rin's words are certainly correct. There is no need to treat servants as human. We are not waifus. We are tools. We are ghosts. Servants are not waifus. They're food. Wait. F fish are... What's the quote? Gosh. Um, fish are not food. F whatever. Servants are... Pff, pair of, you, you get it. Fill in the quote for yourself. You've all seen Finding Nemo. If you haven't, hashtag I like it. I still have never seen Finding Dory, but I definitely like Finding Nemo. Anyways. We are a tool to protect our master. You must understand that. Saying so, Saber walks to the sliding screen. Beyond it is the side room. This room was enough for me, so I never used it. Uh-huh. I'll be getting some sleep. I'll wake up at dinner time, so please let me know if you're going outside. Okay. So she's going in, like, my closet? Is that essentially my closet? <laughs> Saber walks to the sliding screen. Oh, so that's going to be her room. This is my room and her room is my closet. Then we're sort of sleeping in the same room. Sort of. Pretty close. <laughs> this room was enough for me, so I never used my closet. We are a tool to protect our master. No, that's wrong. Chigao, yo. You're a waifu too, you know. Hashtag servants are waifus too. Hashtag servant life matters. <laughs> really, though, I'm actually on that camp. I was on that camp at least going into this VN. I'm like, ooh, um, Shiro getting with Saber? That's squeak. She's like a million-year-old ghost. But, I mean, uh, this game's into it, so whatever. I'm leaning into it. A tool goes in the closet. Nice! <laughs> you must understand that. What is that? That pisses me off. She's a waifu. She can't think of herself as a tool. Gosh dang it. Then it's weird that I'm thinking that she's hot if she's just a tool. You're not allowed to jack off to your tools. That's why she has to be a waifu. But I can't call out to her, so I just consider her words in my mind. This doesn't make sense. She's hot, but she's a tool? No. I can't jack off to my tools. That makes me weird. I'm not weird. It's not weird. It's not weird to like a servant. It's not weird to like my servant. I would smooch a ghost. <laughs> oh... I sit on the porch and look up at the blue sky absentmindedly. To me, that's a pretty good beat. Let's go ahead and save on page three. On page three. Um, sabers aren't 
for kissing. They're for fighting. Sabers aren't for kissing, they're for fighting. Uh, not with you though, with other people. <laughs> okay, before I stopped, there was a whole big conversation I was ignoring so I could get to a beat. I'll, no, not in fate. No, don't. I'm going to check. What, what is this big conversation? <laughs> Huge conversation. Um, oh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, it shaped my whole... I liked FSND in 2006. That's good points. It shaped my whole view of the series, which is the same for Zero, I guess. Yeah, I guess it shaped the view of my series. Watching Zero, I actually liked it better knowing the context. Oh, well, I, I think... I don't know. It's hard to say when I rewatch it, with it with, while knowing the context, but at the moment, having watched it only the once, I liked it quite a bit not knowing the context. There is no Tsukihime adaptation. <laughs> exact opposite. No Tsukihime indeed. Oh, shoot. Now you guys are speaking in elite fate lingo that I don't understand. Oh, Tsukihime is another thing by the same creator of fate. Is that right? I don't know. Vampires. Oh, vampires in my fate. Where's the vampires so that you can eat Talison's brain? Okay, we've already made enough uh, uh, D&D references. Remake when? Of Tsukihime or Vampires? Or Fate? Fate's Day Night Visual Novel remake? Well, it's had a couple remakes. It still hasn't had a proper English translation, though, which is so silly. It's like they have the English dub of Fate Zero and the English dub of the animes, but no proper English translation for the visual novel. It seems kind of rude. And they're translating all the newer games, right? Because they have the Netflix animes, and, and then there's, like the, there's some new games that are translated, but still not the original VN. just seems kind of sad. Maybe there's some late licensing issues with getting the original game. <laughs> Never. Space vamps. Uh, Nasu talked about it weeks ago. Nasu. Uh, I don't know what that is. You hurt me, wise, with that never. <gasps> never say never. To quote Justin Bieber and Danganronpa. <clears throat> you know him. Shiro protects everyone. That hero thing. A tool goes in... Okay, now I'm back to the stuff I've read. Saber thinks of herself as nothing. Shiro overcompensates. I sense tons of friction. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. There's gonna be big friction. Saber just wants to protect Shiro because he's a naive master, whereas Shiro wants to protect Saber because she is a woman sex gender person. So there's gonna be a big fight where they try to protect each other, and it's like, no, I'm supposed to protect you. No, I'm supposed to protect you. No, I'm supposed to protect you. God damn it, let me protect you. And they'll get to protect each other together, and eventually they'll get over it and just, you know. Shiro's gonna have to learn to fight. She needs to keep, he needs to take back up his archery skills. Like, freaking, if we're, while we're working together, Archer, you're an archer, right? Your name is Archer. You're an archer class. Teach me archery, gosh dang it. I was, I had the basics down, right? So, mm. there are a ton of tools for jacking off. Okay, okay, now we're getting dirty. Uh, I would not smooch Saber, but that's because of who she is, not what she is. Oh, well, that's polite. I will not smooch you, but that's not because of who you are, but what you are. Uh, wait, that's no, not because of what you are, but who you are. I see. I understand. That's better. That's more correct. That's more politically correct, wise fool. <laughs> I wouldn't smooch her either, but because I ship her elsewhere. Oh, because you ship her with Saber? Wait, what? Inu Hanyu? I thought you said Saber was best girl. I'm confused. Are you saying you'd smooch another girl and, Sa and Saber would smooch Siro? You would think they translate their stuff, but looks at Mah Mahoyo. Uh. <clears throat> Anyways, um... <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, right? Was I going to say something? I don't know, man. That that awkward thing. Um, generally, um, oh, Inu ships Shiro plus Saber. Uh, yeah, but I'm very much a self-insert type of role player. Like, if I ship Shiro with somebody, then that's me saying that I ship myself with them. Because I am the Shiro. <laughs> it's role play. If Shiro gets to hook up, it's like I'm hooking up. Anime sex. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in the next, um, <laughs> self-inserting, nice. Oh, but I don't insert myself into Shiro that way, only with the role play, not with the penis into penis. Ooh, I don't do guy on guy. <clears throat> if I played as Rin, then I'd probably do girl on girl, ooh. -hoo. But, uh, <laughs> um, thank you all for the compliments about the great stream I had. So good. I am the best Fate live streamer. I don't know how much competition I actually have, actually. I haven't looked into it because I don't want to get spoiled. But um, I think I know, like, one other person is doing a Fate live stream ish in general recently. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that because I don't want to get spoiled. But at some point, I might, ch I might check that out. <laughs> um, for now, we will stop recording.